We're good? Yes, we are live. All right, good evening. Good Sunday evening. Didn't you say you're going to make some changes in the studio or something over these two weeks? Did you say that one of those shows or something? No? I said I was going to clean up the studio. Oh, okay. What did you guys do for two weeks? I've been, uh, been keeping busy. Did the... Uh... <laughs> no, I have been. Like what? <laughs> so the first week I did the uh, the Portland vlog. It took uh -huh. a while. There was a lot of footage. Doing some reading? Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, busy. Popped home that after that week. Stopped home in Jersey. After and, what week? Uh, that first week we were off. Gotcha. And then last week, Justin and I did some Beyond the Third Chair stuff. Uh, ah. That series. <clears throat> uh, did uh, Chasing Greens. I edited that. Mm -hmm. Just keeping up. I have some more. Sounds like not much. Justin, how about you? Not more. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, <laughs> He's keeping some close to the vest. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, uh... Yeah, we did a couple of those videos. Uh, the, the, a couple of the producer things. Um, I cleaned up the YouTube page, so that should be easier to uh, just get to the actual main. main well, uh, thank God. In what, in what way? So like, if you go to the YouTube page now, it's like the, the main podcast is like right, right up top. It's not, no longer just whatever the most recent thing on the network was. Ah. Uh. So I uh, clean, cleaned that up, went through all the videos, kind of went through the descriptions, made sure everything was good with that. Mm -hmm. uh, cleaned up the other room, um, went through, yeah. You clean up the other room? Yeah. Oh, I'll make the show better. Good. I was hoping you would do things to improve the show, but like clean the other room. What other room? Your, your studio? The yeah. Justin Trudeau's. Oh, great. Fantastic. Wonderful. Wonderful. It was a what's potting. I don't know why it's they didn't true. mention what's that. What's yeah, potting? Why was that on the? Was why was that on our world? Why was that? On, why was it on like our YouTube channel? It is. It was. Oh, it, it is. Was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got you. I didn't see it. I would. I wouldn't throw that up on the. I, I don't <laughs> old know. RSS I didn't see it. I didn't see. I, it. I saw clips, but yeah. Well, thank you. I'm not worried. What? Uh, what's going on with you, Mike? How was your couple of weeks? What's oh, new? it was lovely. Same, yeah. Same old. Missed you guys. Okay. What? what? Is anything going on? <laughs> same not old. Really? Say nothing. <laughs> What are you talking about? My life now? Just anything in general. I don't know. Anything going on? No, no. not really. No. Okay. All right. Okay. Definitely a beta cut yeah. bitch. <laughs> What's that? Uh, I assume that's a Lauren. Compton's yeah, Lauren. Compton's oh, that Mike. was dreadful. How dare you? Oh, God. Positive reviews, and then I, oh. I knew I'd come to this oh. doom and gloom. Oh God. God forbid you have a little fun, oh. like me and Lauren. Do. So fake. <laughs> Fake. Jesus. She finds me delightful. Oh, my As God. As I find her. A retard with big titties. <laughs> Jesus. Are you talking to me? Yes, I was like, why? Oh, did she have big tits? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Two retards with big tits just yapping away at each other for an hour. We had a lovely time. No, I'm sure, yeah, it was fine. I saw some of it. This was, I, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of Alpha Mike. I don't know if I'm alpha. In that, you know what I'm saying, Justin, in that scenario? <laughs> yeah, what yeah, like, door confidence? Yeah, like, I'm yeah. the cool, like, I'm the, what do you, you know, that, that, that you thing. You thought I was bullying her? Well, no, but, like, you're <laughs> the, when you're, like, the. The one. Yeah. What should I have done in that situation? No, not, no, it was, a, I mean, it was a born, it was, was going to be Come a. Come on, Lauren, really, it was, give it to me. To, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, though, you say, you say that about, because every, well, everyone isn't really an alpha who comes in here. Right. Maybe, well, like, Whitney. No, that's true. Well, look, look, I like Mick when he's with uh, Christian. Sure. You know, I've never seen yeah, it. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this: Tuesday morning, Mick and Al will be in studio. Oh man, it's Ooh. about time. Yes, quite Here we long go. delay, but finally going to happen. Yes. Mick and uh, Mick and Al, and then I think uh, that's all the shows I know about this week. We'll have another one for sure. Um, I think probably Thursday if you're around, Mike. All right. I don't know with whom yet. Do you guys have any ideas? Uh, it was okay. meant. Well, uh, and in Portland, at the end of Carabas's video, he said, see you on Tuesday. Yeah, I don't know why he said that. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, too. I was like, uh, are we doing a show yeah, on I think Tuesday? he said that's when he's, like, available. Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This it's week, that's that not, not going to work. Yeah. This week, obviously, we have Mick and Al. So we'll see if... I, you never know with three weeks or whatever. Is it, like, are they actually on the on the side? Are they actually pals now? Um, is it bullshit? Yeah. Well... We'll find out. I don't know. But even... He, there, there's deep sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They couldn't repair in two weeks, you know? What does that sound? I just me checking the YouTube, making sure it was oh, good. Good. Um, so yeah, we'll do that Tuesday. No, Laura Compton was fine. I just thought it's her. It's just her laugh is so distracting. What is your house? Oh, I think it was very genuine. How would I know? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> just. <laughs> I mean, it's just not just very like, funny. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's funny enough. I mean, like, I, yeah, but like, it's not that. It's not like like not able to breathe and the people I laughing. Oh God. Kill him. I would Jeez. shoot myself. If you can have me. them laugh like that oh, at my jokes. Oh, God. I'd <laughs> fire them both. I can What's try it? that. Oh, no. Thank I'd, I would fire Coleman them. Coleman does instantly. sometimes. I, I get it. Like that? 
<laughs> Nobody's ever laughed at anything like that. If I have a good pun, I'll get Coleman like that once in a while. <laughs> I, my guess is you're the only guest who's ever made her, who's ever made her laugh. Yep. Don't look at any of the other episodes. <laughs> That's true. What well, is this led to any anything else in the podcasting world now that you've been out no, there? I got a no? few uh, Instagram followers. Okay. No, well, I don't no. know if there's a maybe part of their world kind of thing or no. Oh, I don't think so. No, I, I don't know. That'd be great. Uh, yeah. Well, why not? She seemed. But no, she seemed nice. That was very nice. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, obviously. Uh, I touched on a little bit on the unnamed show uh, with Dave and Whitney. Congratulations to Dave, one of the million dollars on Scotty Chef on a boar Crazy. fest for the last hour and a half. Congrats. How wonderful. The rich get richer. That's a lot of the land. <laughs> um, but, uh, I mean, yeah, I would think in our world, the the, the controversy around the um, whether or not I was, I suppose people are speculating whether or not I was drugged in that golf round. I'm not yes. going to say if I, I, I would know if I was, right? I don't I think it was you. Yes, not. I think mm-hmm. it might have been someone wearing like a Kirk mask. I've seen some of that. <clears throat> I'm wearing my sweatshirt from that night, as a matter of fact. I explained on the unnamed show, uh, if you didn't watch it, if you didn't watch the mini golf, um, uh, I made, I was in second place. I think I would have finished in second place if you take away that, I believe, or third place. I made a 28 on one of the mini golf holes, which, <laughs> I mean, which can happen. <laughs> um, and I like I, I said, I just, I just. The first ever Barstool uh, mini yeah, golf. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, did you? Is, yeah, that's right. right I'm right, sure. Right, right, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Um, like I said with Dave and Whitney, I just went, I just went black. I just blacked out. I was so mad at myself from the whole before. I was mad that I wasn't going to win. Now, is that literally you don't remember it? Kind of, not really. Like I remember, yeah. like being like, "Fuck it!" Like the, I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't want to finish second. At that point, I just said, "I don't want to finish second. And so I made sure I didn't. Uh, and obviously, it was quite controversial. I suspect, like I said, I've not really, I wasn't online much at all that week. Um, I'm sure people were not thrilled, but listen, this is, if you're in with me for the ride, you're in for the ride. There's going to be ups and there's going to be downs. That was a down. That's for sure. Um, you could see it in your eyes, like a minute afterwards, like you were like, what did I just do? I felt fine. Actually, I felt calm. I played, I didn't give up. I played hard the rest of that round. I played hard the final round. I had a good time. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing it again next year. I'm happy for Whitney. I own 500 bucks now. Um, but, uh, but yeah, very, very disappointing. Very disappointed myself. It's not, you know. I was battling. I, I I cared too much. I think people were wondering if like the the hockey bit was an homage to Whitney. No, it was not. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's all this one's for you, Whitney. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 no, it was not. It was not. No? Mm. Chicklets for life. <laughs> no, I thought about doing it for like twenty minutes. At that point, I was like, maybe I'll just do it till they drag me out. Yeah, like two hundred and thirty. Yeah, just, just until like you're disqualified. I could leave. Um, but I had a good. I mean, they they did a good job setting up the course. Uh, I didn't watch. I, I did the final round and I just, you know, bailed out of there. So I, I, I obviously know Whitney won. But, uh, and that was a rare, because it seemed like there was no reason for it. Like, uh, like in the, in the, uh, the last golf tournament with the, the, you and Francis argument, whatever you call that. Oh yeah. The Ryder yeah, yeah. Cup. Like the Ryder Cup. You're like getting into an, uh, oh, four an, versus five. Yes. Yes, yeah, yes. You're yes. getting like into actual heated argument. There seemed to be nothing that, that precipitated. I was mad at myself. Like I said, I was, uh, I hit a, ba- a dumb shot the hole before. And I made a dumb decision in that, in that hole. And I was like, fuck this. And if I had just taken a deep breath and walked around a little bit, I would have been okay. I wouldn't have won. I'll make that clear. Whitney was winning no matter what. Mm. But uh, but congratulations to Riggs, I think, who finished second. Um, basically, I gave him $10,000. And I, th- I forget if it, Frankie oh, that's made right. I forget you missed no. out on the prize. Frankie uh, missed it by... Francis, maybe? Yeah, Francis was third, and then Marty, Marty? was fourth. Yeah, he choked it. He did choke. I saw that. That was a, that was a legitimate choke. I like Marty, but that was a shame. Um. So yeah, that was sort of the. I had fun. I, well, I, you know what? To be honest, I, I, I was grinding those first couple of rounds. Uh, uh, playing with Frank was a lot. It was just a <laughs> lot. Like just a lot of work. You know, yeah. he's, he's on all the time and. I get more angry because Clemmer then tries to pretend like he's his like babysitter, and I get annoyed at Clemmer. <laughs> and every Casey Smith whose stock has plummeted. Oh, oh no! Every we'll, we'll get into that. Um, I played oh. with her for the first two rounds, and everything. Every time she she, she would come up to me, she's like, "Do you think I'm gonna make the cut?" I'm like, "I don't give a fuck if you make the cut or not. I don't give a fuck if you jump off the Sears. I don't care." Like I'm trying to win this thing, and she's like, she's like almost crying in the second round. She's like, "I have to make the cut." I'm like, why? Who gives a shit? You're not mic'd up. No one even knows you're here. Who gives right. a shit? There were flying people there and even mic them up. What's the point? Uh, like Will, right? I, I didn't. Yeah, I mean, I, I, mic'd up they mic'd the me up time. each round, I think. But like, I get that. But like, there are people, they had 35 people there. Some people were never heard from. Are there only a certain amount of mics in the Yes, which I don't uh, get. Mic them all up. Why? So you, <laughs> why not? Because you can't hear Jake Marsh, who fucking stinks. <laughs> he ruins that thing on YouTube. I don't know if you watch it or not. They should I have. Ruins it. 
They should have no one. They, they have, they have 35 Dave you have Dave Portnoy, Dan Katz, me. <laughs> like, what are, you, what are you doing? What you should have is a dedicated, you're right, like a colonnade type person with every group just mm-hmm. going back and forth. You don't need uh, Jake Marsh, like, pretending like, Francis Ellis getting it done. Like, you don't, it, the joke's not funny. Like, no one thinks he's funny. Uh, and Nick's fine, but have Nick be one of the guys that's following a group around. Right. Have Nick do it. Roan did it last year in Arizona. Have random people do it. I, I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand that. But <clears throat> yeah. Um, so that was annoying. But I got through that. I thought, okay, I'm in the final group. Here we go uh, with Riggs and Marty and 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 Whitney. And as we're, and I had fun final round. I played with Will, PFT, and somebody else. You guys. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm trying to, the other person I like too. I forget who it was. Oh, Trent. It was like a good group. Yeah. I was done, so I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna have, you know, have a decent time. And I got out of there. So it was a good good couple of days. Nothing really bar super barstool related in terms of the show. Well, there's I that beef think. with uh, Hannah Cook that came yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We should address that. So um, I talked about the unnamed show. Hannah Cook, who is is the worst person alive today. Oof, really? Oh, I, I think. I don't know why she's the company. Um, I have no idea. I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't know she was still. What's that? Uh, I was, Justin did some digging here. Um, I did I did a little bit of research <laughs> uh-huh. uh, because I I haven't seen much Hannah Cook content. Nor have I. I don't think I ever have. I, so I, I'm not even asking to be like, what does she <clears throat> do? She is it's was, golf. She was part of the foreplay thing. I think they all hated her. I don't know that they would. Uh, I know they're not going to tell me anything because I'll say it. Yeah. So I think they just kicked her out. I think. Okay. So her brand. So that's is, what it seemed like. Yeah. Is wow. Amateur Hour, and so I just did like. Yeah. A, she some, do like videos playing golf with people or something. Well, she did. I did two of them. You did two of them? Produced two of them, Was yeah. she nice to you or no? <laughs> Lovely to me. Okay, because... I heard that, that everybody, wasn't the case, though, for a lot of people. I heard Mean Girls was originally put together because of how mean she was to people. Literally, I'm not kidding. I'm like... Yeah, I, I heard stories so. like Brandon Walker's sister was terrorized by her. Yeah. Oh, she yelled she, at her I, one time and said, said, you you don't... You can't what? hang out with content. Yeah, it was something like oh, that. Oh, okay. I kind of remember. Maybe that. I could tell the story, guys. Yeah, I don't right. know. I mean, I know people want to hear you guys talk, <laughs> but I mean, given how awful you are, I mean, you guys do the producer show together. Oh, that's brutal. You guys suck shit yeah. when you do that together. It's awful. Why do you suck so bad? I think it's great. Don't know. <laughs> no, it's You're like that. You're terrible. very nervous the whole time, Justin. Yeah. Loosen up. What? No. We I, I, mean no. You're not gonna loosen up. No, I'm, I'm saying Coleman saying it was great. I'm the one who's Coleman saying it wasn't great. It's don't be, don't be terrible. like you sound like my old friend Rob Bradford. My friend Rob Bradford. Everything he does, oh, best show ever. Best show. Uh, not best show. Dude, it stinks. It stinks. You're a terrible <laughs> content person. So anyway, uh, yeah. So she said that to to Brandon Walker's sister is like the anti Brandon Walker. She's very nice. She's very quiet. <laughs> she does her job. Yeah. Like you know, she's a good <laughs> she person. She promotes the sponsors. Yeah. Like she's yeah. She's <laughs> you're right. She's like a nice human being. Uh, and, and I've heard countless stories. I know that the she was on the first season of um, uh, Barstool Across America. Whatever is that? Am I, saying, am I saying that right? That that show uh, Barstool that, versus America, whatever yeah. it is. And YouTube slapped something on it because Joey Kamasi kept calling her a cunt the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> He's gay. He gets that pass. <laughs> so hey, you still, YouTube still got him. They were yeah, they cool. got him. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Um, so she was in some different group. I didn't, I didn't know she was in the tournament. So they're done. We're playing our first or second round. I think it might have been our second round. We're in the eighth hole. And the way golf works, Mike, is <clears throat> um, you tee off in basically the order is whoever made the lowest score the hole before goes first. Okay. The next score, next, next score. And then if, then it carries over. Say say everyone ties. The person with the most recent lowest score goes first, if that makes sense. Sure. So there's an order, whatever. Uh, somebody goes. So Hannah Cook just kind of slides up and I'm like, oh, I, I didn't like her for some reason. We don't like each other. I don't remember the genesis of it. Yeah, it was, I think it was last, a mini golf last year. The last mini golf. Yeah, you made some to live events. Lisa, she was somehow involved in this. Oh yeah, right, I can't really really remember. Another I know Feidelberg person. was somehow involved because Feidelberg yeah. brought it up. Right, right. Another just oof. so, um, uh, so somebody went, maybe Clemmer. I don't even know, or maybe Casey went first and I was up. And I just said to her, "Hey, just so you know, I'm up." And and the the mood between me, Clemmer, Frank who I do like, and Casey was fine. It was all joking around for a round and a half. Like, it was no completely light. And Casey kind of laughs, says, okay, and then she goes, and I go up there. Uh, and I'm like, it's not a big deal, though, like, if you want to go. And Hannah Cook slides over, and she's like, if it's not a big deal, like, why just say it? Like that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and I just turned around, I was like, let's be very clear about this. You're a zero. Like, you shouldn't be at this company. You stink at your job. And she's like, oh, I forgot how low you could be. And I said, that's floor number 30. Like, we can go low. We can go as low as you want. And then she skulked away. 
Uh, she talked shit, then she walked away, and then everybody told me afterwards she was bawling upstairs, which I now take as a victory. Like I, 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 I'm, I almost trade my 28 for that. To right. me, it's a win. So we play the rounds or whatever. <clears throat> so, so that night I implode. We're back at the hotel. Rico and, and Riggs and Casey Smith are downstairs. I'm with them at our hotel. And she comes over again, Hannah Cook, I think drunk with um, the one who kills all the zebras there. What's Sydney. Her name? Yeah, who's yeah. very nice. Um, she's <laughs> what? Yeah, all the zebras. She murders zebra, I think, right? I don't. By him? Maybe. She, she's an animal killer, isn't she? Uh, she does hunt. I don't know. Yeah, I, I oh, like her. She's, she's a very nice person. Super, super. A plus. A plus. Huge fan. Very nice person. As a matter of fact, I would be happy to go. I'd be happy to kill animals with her at some point if she wants me to do it. Yeah. As long as I can be inside like a Mercedes. I don't have to get my hands dirty. I'll do it. I mean, just mowing down animals yeah, with, with yeah. a drone or something. Well, even like a, like a Uzi or something. That'd be fun. Yeah. Look, yeah. So she's with her and they walk over and we're sitting there and, and, uh, and her and Casey give each other a big hug. And like, they're, she's doing this thing where she hugs her, you know, and then she's like, how'd you guys play or whatever? And then Riggs is like, Kirk blew up. And she's like, oh, so Kirk Minahan's not winning. I'm like, she's like, oh, that's, at least that's happening. Thank God for that. And she wasn't uh. kidding. <laughs> and I said to her, I congratulate you for making it through the sense without crying. Like, <laughs> really well done. It's very, it's very, it's very funny if you think of the first interaction you said where yeah. you're like, I forget how low you can be. You have this intense interaction. You zoom out, you're at a mini golf course. Right, yeah. You <laughs> zoom out a little further and Frank's just naming Mets players. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I wasn't crying, whatever. And we're going, and like, whatever. And then she's like, she's like, you really should. And then, so she claimed that I called her a fucking bitch, which is <clears throat> a not true. It's, it, that is a true statement that she is that, but I didn't call her that. that you know what I'm saying? I didn't say that. Yes, Everybody yeah. around confirmed that. Um, she, she is, but, um, and then she said, you really shouldn't talk to women like that at the, at the bar. I'm like, well, like why? Like you're talking shit. Like this is how it works. Like we're at bar still, whatever. Um, and then she's like, you really need like therapy. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've had plenty of therapy. She's like, well, it's not. She's like, well, Catch up, sweetheart. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, whatever her name is, Lauren. Um, and then she kind of walked away. Uh, and like, I saw Casey give her a look kind of like, Hey, like, this guy's an asshole. Don't oh no! Yeah. Fuck you! Yeah, so she's Jeez. dead. She's dead to me, and she was like hugging her, and and meanwhile, she, Casey was standing next to me. That's during that mini oh, golf. Oh my it, god, it, what a moron! During that inter, we can you know maybe four out of ten. Call me only drops every fucking oh, sentence. Yeah. Jesus. Um. So, like, she was also there during the interaction at the mini golf. Mm. So like, she could have just said to, um, uh, Hannah Cook like. Kirk like didn't say that like this is like we just fucking relax you're a young kid relax go upstairs sleep it off but she didn't she took a side and that's fine like people can take sides but actions have consequences so she's dead that's yeah. tough yeah <clears throat> what Stephen Ross is gonna do oh I'm sure he'll message her and whatever but if I find that out he's dead too this you gotta take sides so you know um yeah but whatever so yeah uh, just a horrible person uh, Hannah Cook, horrible. Everyone hates her. People are coming up to me. It's like K Marco all over again. Just people at the company are like, oh, thank you. Like, she is the worst. So, <laughs> but she still has a job. So maybe she's doing something well. I have no idea. Well, so I looked up, like, so I haven't seen much of her content. So I looked up when the last thing she did on, like, each of the social platforms was. When, uh -huh. do, you, when do you think her last tweet was? Well, I have no idea. Uh, August of last year. No, March 21st. She tweeted a couple of times about this the, year. Yes. Okay. About right. the Barstool Bracket Busters. There you go. Yeah. Um, last Instagram. Post? Uh, February 10th. Oh, February 27th. There you go. No post in March. Last YouTube video. Uh, 1986. Know, how many more of these we're going to do? I think you've proven <laughs> your point. January. Nine, nine months ago. <laughs> nine months ago. Nine so, months ago. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, and I, I think she didn't promote anything during the... Um, she was one of the people who didn't promote anything during the Black Friday. Yep. Yeah. So... I, I, Maybe she has good interest. I, I have no idea. Maybe she makes no money. Maybe she's not actually working for the company. She just shows up at these events, and I have no idea. She's just waiting to for a contract <laughs> like to be up or something. Right. I have no. I literally have no idea. So, nor do I really care. It's not my money. It's Dave's. But um, just a wretched, wretched person. Wretched, 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 wretched. It's a shame that she escaped this womb, but she did. You know. So, there you go. Hopefully, she's not able to have children. One can hope. I was going to say, it'll be interesting to see how she reacts to this stuff, but I guess she doesn't post anything. So well, she'll cry. No, I mean, no one will be able to interact with her. Meanwhile, anyway. I was so light on her. Like, literally, she went up to me and was an asshole. So I was an asshole back. I wouldn't, if she was an asshole to me, I wouldn't have said a goddamn word. But well, that's what I was going to say. I didn't even know she existed. That's a bizarre thing if you're in content at all to be like, that's not a, a thing you say to a woman. 
Like if you yeah. work at Barstool or yeah, it wasn't even a place like, like any kind of comedy. She's a zero at the. Yeah. I mean, I think Justin just she is a zero at the company. Like whatever, I would say it. God knows, I'd say it to a guy. I, I'm not doing that again. But, but yeah, so it was tense. Um, and sides were taken. So you know, there you go. You win some, you lose some. To be so. standing right there and just be like, oh, I, I know that look too, though. What look? One Casey probably. Yeah. Like, yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I get it. Like, they were hugging okay, each well, other. Sorry, well, we, know, we, know, we know how he yeah, is. He's yeah. an asshole. So it's like, you can go fuck yourself too. Uh, after such a joy just a few weeks ago. Well, I mean, yeah, I think she had some fun having a fan base Can't too. Have it both ways. She actually yeah, used them in the, so I think there's some of that too, but whatever. So, um, but finding out the Hannah Cook cry, that was like, I would definitely, would have definitely made a 28 in that hole if I knew that was the case. <laughs> Hopefully she cries every day. One can only hope. Fingers crossed. Yes. Well, yes. I, I was telling Coleman, like, there's no way Kirk said that because you, like, right. you've retracted this in the, like, you don't call a woman that anymore. No, she is, though. Yes. Yeah. I mean, she, like, you know. Gutless, would you say? Uh, No, I think she, I mean, she spoke up to me. All right. There you go. No, she has got, I, again, like, if she's going to be like that and she's like that all the time, as long as she's not crying, like, fine. Like, if you're an asshole, be an asshole. But don't be an asshole and then run and hide and cry and then say, don't say this about a woman. Don't pull that shit. Yeah, that's weird. You know what I mean? Like, either talk, you know. That's why I like Megan making sandwiches. A, she makes a decent <laughs> roast beef sandwich. Sure. And B, you can talk shit to her. Right. Like, I, you know, I've called her cunt on the show before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's, we, I see her in Chicago. She's very funny. Sydney Wells. Great. Yeah, did she kill, like, baby chicks or whatever? Sure. She who cares? She blew them. their head. No, she shot them. I saw <laughs> you gotta eat something. She, she, <laughs> we're literally, she's like, hey, let's go outside. Check this out. There's a couple baby little duckies. She fucking shot, blew their brains out. Hey, how do you think meat gets on your plate? Exactly. Yeah. I was like, I'm not going to play. I'm starving. So yeah. she then she then Megan making money, whipped up a good sandwich. They have a good little thing going. She it's, she shoots a turkey office. and Megan makes it. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Little pigs out there, she slaughters them. Miss Peaches, boom. Gone. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm friends with Miss Peaches. I can't, I can't be hypocritical here. I took her for a walk with Dave. Uh, we're I, buddies. We're that's pals. A, that's actually like a great the idea that the father is coming out of the woodwork, like Eminem's dad. That's or crazy. Yeah. Like, that's wild. <laughs> she's, she's an. I'm not sure I buy Dave's narrative that Miss Peaches, if you, she walked down the street with you know, no shot, the guy who works over at fucking halfway cafe, that people be mobbing her. Feels no, that a doesn't. Little, it doesn't make any sense. Little, I mean, I, like Austin. I know she has sense? no ears. Well, also because Dave's point was, I think Dave said that to somebody like, oh, Austin was walking. Uh, walking her and like people they, fucking Austin that Miss Peach's fucking sweatshirt on <laughs> like, yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's, like yeah, yeah, yeah it's not that yeah. like, I mean she would get mobbed like any other dog like oh can I see your puppy or something but yeah, I mean look she's a famous dog like I get and she doesn't have any ears really so she looks a little different she's, she's I she will say a little strange. Yeah, but she's a nice dog know, could, the, could the dog from Frasier like go outside the house in the 90s yeah, like, I would think so I would think right Wasn't I mean, she getting a sitcom <laughs> I like it's a sitcom but yeah she's, she's, she's got work what uh? What else did I miss in the world over the last few weeks? Uh, a couple things. Uh, Julie DeCaro, uh, starting tomorrow, is starting a brand new newsletter. Mm-hmm. Uh, I signed up for it, so you have to pay for it. Um, it's called Losing My... I don't know how to pronounce a, this word. How do you spell it? P- well, well, give it a shot. Yeah, that's true. Well, let's spell it first, then give it a shot. P-E-R-S-P-I-C-A-C-I-T-Y. Perspicacity. Okay. Persipity. Persipity. Yep, Persipity. okay. What, so um, I have no idea what that word is. I'm, yeah, as right. much as I'm making fun of it. Yeah, I mean, no. <laughs> what, what, when does it like start tomorrow? Uh, yeah, she said the, the first thing. So apparently someone was posting on Blue Blue Sky, whatever Twitter knockoff she uses now, uh-huh. about how uh, she's, they're going to sign up and, and troll her there. And uh, she said, anyway, subscribe to my newsletter. It launches tomorrow, and I need you to help offset the people like the dude below who have spent the weekend spamming my, spamming my subscribers list. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, but there's, So there's four things on her that she's going to talk about horse racing. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's this new- will definitely be better than Mudstep. It's been brutal. <laughs> By the way, like, their Friday for Porter Friday. mentioned it on his sh- on one of his streams, and then people are tweeting him all the time. Hire mud, hire mud, hire mud. I see hashtag all the time. Mud's done nothing with that because he's embarrassed. Interesting. Like, have, you're an idiot. You don't have a like job. Begging. It's been a year and a half, huh? He thinks it's like begging. It is begging, but that's it, like that's. Does that's, he not want to work for bars? I, I I don't know, but like. Like, I walked Dave into that thing about the, the show a couple weeks ago about the horse racing. Like, do something. A Beg. Few, I mean, a few times. You do a video. <laughs> do something. Get into, that's how you get hired. Yeah. Dave, Dave's not going to be like, oh, boy, I really need Mike Menansky. You know? That's not how he hires people. Uh, never like, I was actually on, like sort of an unusual hire. Like, usually somebody does something 
either you're kind of really well known. You're flash in the pan. You're an athlete, or you have like a moment on like Frank did or like Brandon did. Where but you you're got, not unusual in the sense that Dave knew you and liked you. Like you were in Dave's head in a way. But there's not many people like, he hires like that. Not really. Oh, no, no. But I'm yeah. saying like Mutt would have to do something. That's to what I'm get, saying. To well, get no, that's know. what I'm saying. Mutt's not me, so he's got to be yeah. like, he has to be like Frank or like, that's who he is or like Clemmer. Like he has to do something to get know this as opposed to sitting around and writing. Writing words about horse racing and about Boston media. He should try and get a job at Bar. It's his best chance. What about Nick Ahmed the other day? I saw. It's great. I mean, that's just not going to get it done. <laughs> what would you have, Justin? So it's news. News, okay. Feminism, sports, and laughs. Revenge. Laughs. <laughs> so good. So, but good. I, don't, I, I think it's just a scam because I signed up for it. I put my credit card info, and then it just brings me back to the homepage. You're going to pay her? How much is it? Are you going to pay your lawyers? It's $10 a month. Any OnlyFans stuff going on there, Justin? Any of that? Any of those, any of that gash flying around? Uh, no, it, it just any gymnastics I, outfits. I, no, I signed up for it. And it just takes you back to the homepage. Oh, uh, so it's great. Justin signed up for two things: boner pills and this, and one is worked. Coming. <laughs> You'll definitely need one if you're reading the other. I'll say that. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, we wish her luck. I mean, it's gonna be better than Mudstack. That's for I sure. I don't agree with that. Oh, yeah, you read Mudstack a lot lately. Told you the Nick Ahmed thing. I knew that. That's true. How would I, I know? How would I know that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> what else? Uh, last night I was with Gus and went to Steve from Gloucester's house. Why? Card night. <laughs> oh. I met with the fellas. I met the fellas. Steve's crew. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Very. Steve. Uh, Steve is useless to me now too. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. Is he on, I, on the outside? He, well, he's gonna be Team Casey. Oh. I'm sure. So oh, he'll be. No. He'll be walking yeah. the plank. So even even worse. All the joy that was in Portland. He'll he'll act like he's yes. not, and he'll message her privately. He'll be he won't pick a side, right? He thinks like he's like he'll be like Switzerland. Yeah, I heard a lot about how people think how Steve was uh, be, Steve's behavior in Portland was disgusting. <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> Just like he's a big star, <laughs> like he wouldn't talk to like the Simple. he's like, he's a nobody. Like he's you know he's he should be talking. To everybody. He's blowing people off. He's acting like a big timer. Like. If you go, if you were there Friday night, I talked to every, I talked to everybody there. I tried to, if you wanted to talk to me, took a picture, happy to do it. Coleman, Justin, uh, Mike, Steve blowing people off, hanging out with the, he, like he thinks like he's a varsity guy. He's not a varsity guy. There's no such thing as a varsity guy. No, there is you. me. Well, that's it what I mean. Me. That's what I mean. But there's no like. Mike's on JV. Mike's like the JV, not captain, but like he's but a, he's, a he's, shot some but he's a bench guy. In the gym. <laughs> he'll, play, he'll play 15, 20 minutes a game. He's different. People who are like, yeah, Mike didn't come up to me. It's like, well, I can't you, see. You got to come up to me. Because <laughs> you're blind. I did the Lauren Compton for you right there. I'm bumping into shit. Doesn't feel the same. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's because the producers weren't laughing, too. <laughs> I, gave, I see I sold Come it. on, guys. <laughs> there we go. Ah, feels like, like I'm right back and off. I like to slap and go. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, so we'll see. This is a big big week for Stephen Gloucester's life. Wait, would, a, would, a, would, a, would a big timer carry a man's luggage? Well, just, rem, just remember how, how much he just stabbed my friend Tom Shattuck in the back, too, That's to join true. this show. That's a good point. Yeah. That's just, this is in his DNA. He's a backstabber. Well, would he do that just for you? We'll that, find that out. We don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. I, I guarantee you he'll message Casey privately and be like, look, I don't know, I don't know what to do here. Well, you might have given him that. Now he won't. I still, I don't think he'll be able to help himself. I think he probably definitely would have <laughs> a Maybe. little while ago. But. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, so what would you guys do there? Met the fellas. Uh, he, he has this massive spread out. Then the first thing they all said was, he, he don't do this every week. Okay. They're also... <laughs> they're are they all pretending to be Italian? <laughs> they all seemingly are uh steve doesn't let up or anything like you recorded any of this i did yes okay so that'll be in a future vlog i got some of it um they played poker they uh -huh. played cards you didn't play i did okay uh got ran out probably with like four guys left uh so I, I held my own for okay bit. how much money are we talking about just 20. Oh, all right how was gus gus was good yeah uh, seemed to get along well with everyone i'd say the one part that they seemed to get annoyed with him was during the their horse race game that they do Oh, they do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah so yeah. so Gus was <laughs> oh, had his Christ. hands on the money and was uh, kind of like yeah, yeah, yeah. they were like, Yeah, we're we're good. Like we don't we don't right. need someone dealing it out or, or cashing it out. But, sure. Yeah, he seemed to get along with everyone. But okay. um they look to him kind of like this Italian guy, kind of Steve like he gives off. Yeah, like they bring well, up Italian guy, they right? bring up the Sicily place. They're like, Oh, you know, Mr. Oh, that's right, Sicily. It's a house of Sicily. I forget that. They uh <laughs> I wouldn't say he's nothing the to rent in Tuscany of the group, 
but it's one of these friend groups where they all have like inside jokes and stories oh, with sure. each other. Well, it's, it's like a normal. As most groups, I think of a friends call. Maybe that's the way it generally no, it goes. Just, it reminded well, me of my own friend group. They huh? all just gossip. No, yeah, Colin was like, "When do you th- <laughs> Colin was like, when do you think Jimmy Carter is going to finally kick the bucket?" <laughs> That's fun. Stevie, what are you bringing this? Oh, have a fanook over here for. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Vito. <laughs> there was a Vinny, I think. Pool cue up Coleman's ass. <laughs> uh, look at that Horthy going around and around. Uh, what kind of spread? What do we have in the spread? Oh, he went all out. So he did. <laughs> he, he had the it's a guy. By the way, he was making mid six, fi- mid five figures. It's not bad. <laughs> he's, he's spending money on food for you guys, a poor bastard. Yeah, but but they were all saying like, oh, he knows the cameras here. You yeah, know, yeah. otherwise, <laughs> Big Steve, you don't do this. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this guy don't break out as well for nothing. The real money he spent was on the actors he hired to pretend to be his friends. <laughs> <laughs> Coleman's so dumb. He doesn't know one of them was like Joe Pesci. <laughs> It's like $3 million to fly these guys to De Niro. Just some terrible Van Zandt yeah. wig the guy's wearing. How you doing? <laughs> he, uh, he had the lasagna or the ziti, whatever it is, with the peas Those are two different it? things, yeah. I I guess it's lasagna. Yeah, so the, oh, I thought he says big ziti. It oh, it's ziti. ziti. It's yeah. ziti, yeah. With the uh, peas, the Japanese. Peas. I tried... Peas are a weird thing. That's in there. A, that's that a, doesn't. That doesn't. That's, cr- that's, I, mix. that's a psycho move. Yeah, that's I like, had a plate full like of peas at the ve- end. Vegetables and marinara and sauce. And the guys were like, "Oh, what? You don't like a, the peas? No that peas." That just feels very anti-Italian. That doesn't feel like a like like a, your Sicilian. mother used to make. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just, oh, it's Sicilian. It's Sicilian. They were they were big on that. It's like. Oh, this guy not Sicilian. You don't know about the peas. <laughs> Coleman loves doing these impressions. I'll say that he's had forty <laughs> times the last three minutes. Is there anything referred to as Sunday gravy by chance? Uh, no, that, there wasn't. Did any anybody of that, have to kick up anything? Did anybody have a vig or anything or no? <laughs> no, it, no okay. it, it was all kind of good there. Uh, did you drive with Gus? I did. Yeah, from his house? No, he came. I don't know if he took the train or not, but he came to my place and we left from there. Gotta... Did you bring him home? I brought him back to here. So oh, that he, gotcha. yeah, here. Well, not here. Oh, you're a place, yeah. yeah. What are you saying, Justin? Gus's tires are still... No, no, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we we got to do something. To Absolutely, get not. Car. Absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> not. Because you know why? Because he'll just fuck it up. Like, yeah. I, I would be happy to if I thought he could take care of it. It's well, like, my thing is, is, if it's just tires, you can go to like a used tire shop and get a used tire for like 60 bucks. Why does he need to drive at all? I, I don't he know. He doesn't. He's got to go to Steve from Gloucester's house. <laughs> I did dispo. watch that. I watched that video, <clears throat> your video with Gus. It's a fucking horror scene at that house. Like, I was, I, if I was Justin, I would have fucking shot one of those dogs. They were fucking, those nails are like so yeah. long. And the fact that he's like, oh, they don't, oh. No, they're, they're, they're it's like just, knives they attacking. Yeah. That's the oh one thing when I did God. that video with his house. I was like, if I see a fucking dog, I'm like leaving. Like, yeah. I'm not dealing with these fucking dogs. Well, like, and he lies to himself too. He's like, he's like, oh, this one's the calm one. And she's like, yeah, <laughs> crazy. Like, I, uh, she's a bit calm. There's nothing worse than dogs jumping over people. And like, Justin has to pretend like he's like kind of okay. I mean, you should just be like, get the, Gus, get these fucking dogs out of here. That I, what I can't stand about dog people is when their dog is jumping on you, yeah. slobbering, that's what he was doing. licking, scratching, and you're like, okay, that's yeah, enough. Hey, and they're like, whoa, he's not, very, not a dog person? Right. Or he's very friendly. Like, <laughs> oh, uh, no. He, yeah, they, yeah. They're very cute. Yeah. Oh, they, you know, they're, they, yeah, they're, like, they're, they're, they're really nice. He's usually not like this. Yeah, <laughs> right. Oh. He does like the whole like 30 minutes and then they're calm. But yeah, like yeah. normal people with crazy dogs don't even say that. They're just like, oh, give them a little. Also, the I'm going to be here for 40 minutes. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. I saw the dog run out of the house and circle around the car. The car had no tires. It just looks like a nightmare zone. Like it's just, it's fucking horrifying. Jesus Christ. What else? Uh, there, there was a there was a point in that video too where Gus were like, oh, we're like, oh, let's go through your day. And he, he started saying about how he's been doing social media for like his friends. Yeah. What is that? Do you that, have that sound? That was a what lie. is he talking about? I just think well, all he says yeah, is yeah. We're at the point where you can just say he's not doing. That's that, true. Right? That's a good point. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. But why is he? Why does he feel like he has to lie? No one well, believes that's, him. That's my thing. Is like yes, you can just say I, you're not like maybe just programmed into him at this point. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I guess. Because he didn't have to at the beginning. It was all. Just, it stems from him lying to his dad about not doing his homework or whatever. That's true for sure. You know. Did you see? Uh, did you see? So so Mick obviously is in. You said Tuesday. Yes, obviously he's in Tuesday. He is. Uh, he's no longer. He's a single man now. He is. Yeah. Yes. Oh no. He announced on Tuesday. He said he, he didn't want to talk too much about it, but he did announce that I, he is 
separated from uh, from Jess. I oh, laughed no. on because run. Coleman read it to me like it was a headline on People magazine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, right. Mick spotted alone. Yeah. No ring. What's going on? Yeah. yeah. I reached out. You know. Wow. Single and ready to mingle, I'm guessing. The Cancun trip was this past weekend. I saw a tweet that was during the Masters, so yes. that would have sucked for him. That was the catalyst. That's what all the like the Reddit pages would be talking about. Is like, they make it through yeah. the right. Cancun? Flight week? logs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picture yeah. of her with yeah. the yoga instructor. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. <laughs> so Mick is single, huh? What a yeah. catch. No oh, job. Wow. Shits his pants all the time. <laughs> He's got a job. Oh. Well, I mean, not really. I mean... Bartending. I know, but like, and he has that weird job with the, he pretended to interview with that lady when he wore the suit that day. That's not really a job. I, I think it's a more real job than Gus is pretending to have. Well, no one's denying that. <laughs> that's your standard. And he's also like a psychopath. Well, some I mean, ladies, yeah, but, but that's why we love him. Oh, if you lady, wasn't, ladies like Justin, a bad you as agent? Oh, uh, I, I agree. I but we want such a Mick guy. I don't know. Uh, Mick, I like Mick too, but I'm just saying he is a psycho. I, I love don't him. don't want him in here blowing up again. We have to go through that whole charade. <laughs> we'll <laughs> see know? Tuesday. We'll see. I mean, maybe it's win the day with Mick also. Who knows? Uh, maybe he's ready. To, maybe, he probably, probably wants a little time off. I would he's think. fucking Al. Oh. It's his brother. Yeah, well, love his love. I don't know why you. I didn't mean. Do you think he like goes a little easier on him because of the whole breakup? Thing? Maybe he'll be maybe more angry. Oh, maybe he'll have, I hope you go one way or another, I suppose either way is possible. That's too bad. Elsie's she seemed like a nice kid when she was. She was. On, she joined us in Delaware on the phone, right? Yeah, yeah, she was great. She's like a good sport. Yeah, it's weird when she dates just like a normal guy. <laughs> well, she ends up with like a Montante or something. I was <laughs> like, yeah, I was watching my brother's dogs and he left me a couple hundred bucks. It was really nice of him. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah. She's looking up at the moon, thinking she's about what you, Mick. She's like, what do you mean by, what do you mean by that? What are you getting at? The you know, I'm not going to drive 200 miles round trip to be on the podcast today. Maybe we'll just hang out. <laughs> mm, okay. Sounds good, I guess. I, I think know. she might be uncomfortable with that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Who yeah. knows? <sighs> yeah, she's, they're, just, they're just like kissing the new... She's like, can you just say and boom? Just <laughs> Don't worry about why. Yeah, just, just do it. <laughs> hey, I got to talk to you. Let's go down to the basement. Let's talk. He's like the fourth best point guard in the 1970s. <laughs> uh, that's too bad. Well, I, I, I feel bad for Mick. We'll see him Tuesday. What else? There was a uh, there was a point. So uh, Coleman, obviously, the what's potted comes out. He didn't know who the Yankees. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Yes, thank you, Justin. I had several people at, at the company who were there. Big people. So Coleman didn't know who the Red Sox, uh, who the Yankees blew the lead to in 04. Yeah. Yeah. There were people who speculated that was him. That was a bit. I, oh, my God. So I, mean, I, might, be, like, do I might be with you. And I'll tell I, you what. I'm, I'm, say, I'm not saying I agree. I think I'm saying. he's known that in the past. That doesn't mean anything. A no. Minifan would have to go back through the archives. That's just like, is that your basic guess anyway? I think he's known that before. And also, yeah, but I also Dodgers is like a ditzy guess. Cause what? Because I think he said he he guessed Dodgers. He guessed the Dodgers. Not only was was the question ALCS though or no? No, that was not specified. No, Tommy just said. How do you get to the World League. Series, Coleman? Who were the two teams? What do you, What do you mean? Like, like how do you how, how do you select the two teams in the World Series? It would be one from the National League yeah. and one from the American. Okay, so there you yeah. go. So the Dodgers wouldn't make. What, what league are the Dodgers in? The oh, shut up, Mike. The. National League. Okay, Jesus Christ, though. That's, <laughs> that's fucking unbelievable. <laughs> but I, I was going to say, that, 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 that was, to be fair to him, that wasn't specified. It wasn't well, no, but if you're a, a World But if you're a new Yankee fan, of course, like Coleman it's crazy. Is, <laughs> like he claims a lot. Like you, don't you ever wonder why you don't play the Dodgers really ever? Oh, that, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. What, do you guess, what like, year do you think interleague play started? Do you know what interleague play is? Yeah, where okay. the two like played each other, essentially. Right. Yep. Yep, they play each other. <laughs> National League, come on over. We're I'm going to say in 73. Nope. How far off uh, is that, though? Like 20 years or oh, so. Oh, shit. Maybe a little. Like 90, look it up, Justin. Maybe like but 94. Looks at that as all the same. Right, yeah. 19, you know? 19, kind of, did yeah. you mean 1973? Yes. Okay. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> 1873? Oh, they were playing baseball. 97. 97, okay. He was only off by Just tw shy. 24 years. A quarter of a century. For Cole, that's like not a bad guess. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's basically one Coleman. Well, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Was that Justin? <laughs> Jesus, Mike gets worse than the producers. Uh, it's infectious. You're hired by that. <laughs> well, anyway, so he claims to be this basketball guy. So last last week at one point, I asked him, I was like, NBA playoffs, sir. When, when do they start up? Guess what he said? He believes NBA playoffs start July. up. July. He said, I believe the end of next month. The end of May? 
Yes. Well, because I know that they go through June. Like they, like they typically how many how many rounds think there are how many seeds how many teams in each conference make the playoffs well it's weird because they change everything up with the playing that, that sounds traditionally good. how many teams how it many would, seeds are there it would be eight right okay so eight to four four to two two to one right so three rounds yes how many games are in each potentially series? seven okay do they play every in the back to back games generally or no no okay there's, so there's time in between yeah so that would be fourteen days for one round right. fourteen for another. 14 percent like we're talking we're now well over a month right but all, even just like as, as tommy said in that clip have you not stumbled upon that information right as a basketball fan have you not noticed like the the month it is when basketball but i thought <laughs> this is like next week <laughs> yes it, yeah, the yes. last day of the regular season was today today right yeah but two and he guessed next he guessed like the end of may like a month off? <laughs> that's if what i was five <laughs> weeks off before the playoffs well it was seems like a bad idea it was confusing when i was looking at when the play-ins were and then when the actual what was the first was. round of the playoffs justin um the church is rocking tonight Ooh. nah it's may 28th i guess <laughs> Coleman was, Coleman was right <laughs> uh when nba playoffs start uh april 20th april 20th yes so the the, the play his birthday mike sure well, is yeah that's a it's a big day. Combine, I believe, as well. Oh, is that right? It's Harry Manhans dude. Just being really rad. Yeah, and yeah. it's and it's a cool day. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. We got we have our own show on the network, right? Yeah, yeah our boys, right. great, fantastic. Should we all um, come and stoned on that day? Yeah, we should. I'll be here for sure. Um, so he's yeah. up by him, but like that's like asking like, oh, when is when is, when is, like if the playoffs start in NBA and you, uh, in NFL and you're like, I think March. That's yeah, March. 15. I'm not used to. What the, the other egregious misses by Coleman on the. Uh, on the what's podden one, anything else knowable or no? That was the one that stood out to me. Yeah, that was but. a big one. Uh, who the Iron Horse was? Yeah, nickname. I don't know. Yeah, played a lot of games in a row. Well, is they, it? They told you though, right? Or no? I think is it not Lou Gehrig? It is Lou Gehrig. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Damn right it is. I don't know if you heard of Lou Gehrig's disease, but they got to nip this sucker in the bud too. Oh no! What is that? What's that from? <laughs> that Lauren Cobb? <Kopp? laughs> oh really? Doing Lou Gehrig bits? Yeah. <laughs> oh oh, because she said. Uh, she was like, they should find a cure for your eye disease. And yeah. I was like, yeah. I saw some people tweeting you should stare into the sun during the eclipse, and maybe that means like, the reverse would happen. I suspect not. Yeah. I didn't do it, but oh. I, I suspect Because, like, what's the point? <laughs> Which is a total scam anyway. If you looked in the sun, you were fine. That bullshit. Well, it would be like what's looking the... in the sun any other day. Yeah. Right? I'm just saying for us, even, for, yeah. for, for, for people who can see. I, uh, yeah. That, yeah, I thought that was bullshit. Yeah. I was scared of that, though. I'm sure you were. <gasps> Yeah, was, why? Was I, I don't know. They say don't look. I, I don't so want to look. look. I didn't. Did you have the glasses on? I didn't have the glasses. Oh. How so about you, Justin? You, like, you might be into it. I I completely missed it. Okay. I went I went to go film uh, in Fall River when that when it was taking place. Oh, with the glasses guy. Yeah. 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 How was he? People yeah. hate him now. He was he was good. Yeah. I, he, you know, he, I'm on his side in the Steve fight. He does not like Steve from Gloucester. Neither do I. That's the only like, reason why I did this whole series was to get Steve from Gloucester and send the lords at each other. Sure. Well, wow. What, what a plan, Justin. What a payoff that'll be. <laughs> when, have, when they have a show and Steve rolls over like a dog. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, the guy. Tell me more about your glasses. Man. Yeah, Jesus. The guy. I mean, my, my, my eyes are get a little weak. You know, really, you know who was really into the eclipse, though. I don't. Kevin Cullen. Oh, was he really? He's, he's he right couple, about it? Well, he's wrote, written a couple stories about how it's like booming for Vermont because it's all. Remember, What's he's true? like the Vermont. What's it guy? called? The Path of Totality. Yes. Oh. Yes, they were yeah. Maine, Vermont were on the line. Like where Cullen leads his victims. It's true. <laughs> well, there you go, Coleman. Jesus, that was, cool. <laughs> that was a good one. He said. Thank you, Coleman. Uh, well, a moment for you, Mike. See, <laughs> if that's a good Coleman, I'd say yeah. that. What a good one. The moon's shadow did something extraordinary to the Keen va- Keen family in Vermont. Did sh- would it shoot them? No. Something extraordinary. They're, they're blind them. No, they're no. they're yappers. Uh, the one it was taking place. All quiet, huh? It was quiet, and they they wish it could have lasted oh, a little bit God. longer. Did you see that loser mutt drive up to New Hampshire during it? Oh, he did. Definitely by himself. What? He's got during... family. Huh? He's, he didn't it was bring during the day. It was, like a, it was like a weekday. They were in school. Did you see the traffic for this stuff going? To... These people are nuts. Yeah. Like My brother five, drove six all the hours. Well, he's an idiot. Like, that's too crazy. Oh, he should have kept driving out of the ocean. That's crazy. Go... I mean, I, I, I don't want to clip shame anybody. If, if you enjoy it, great. But that just seems nuts to me. Absolutely nuts. I didn't change my day at all. No, nor did I. Nor did I. I was you not put on those glasses. And... No, no. Again, I, I, people want to do it, great, but I was not. Uh, I was not that into it. I don't really get. Can a sighted person describe to me? Is it just gets dark for it a minute? Just yeah. Like it the gets moon like covers dusk. the sun or whatever. It I don't gives even a shit. I, I, <laughs> I don't, gets dusk for a couple minutes. I guess I just can't appreciate it. 
people are like applauding and screaming, crying. And Did you see crying. the uh, the one Weather Channel girl freaking out during it? Yeah, she was. Free. Yeah, it's just uh, amazing. Is that the darkness? <laughs> Nine, eight, happens every seven, night. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Totality. We're in it, and we're behind the cloud. But I still want you to appreciate the darkness that we are experiencing. And by the way, our temperature has dropped. We're down to 72 degrees. Oh my God, the world's I can even at... see a blue gets... spot right there. Come on. We've got four minutes. The crowd is willing it. Yes! <laughs> Get out of here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> People are just crazy. It's <laughs> nuts. Ay, 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 ay. Weesh. What else? Uh, so we lost OJ. Oh, we did lose OJ. Yeah. yeah. Sad. What a run. What a run. Well, literally. It's a yes. shame. Uh, I mean, you know, I, not much to say, obviously. Malcolm Laverne's a friend of the show. Um, yeah. We think of him right now because he's grieving. What, what do you think a guy like that's going to do? You know I always I mean? feel bad for the guys like that who have, like, their one thing to hang on is, like, a nobody at this right. point. Like, yeah. He'll, I mean, he's a rat, though. Maybe he'll just, like, find his way in somebody else's leg. I don't oh, know. he definitely will. Can we reach out to him to, to join us to talk about OJ or no? No, we can. Let's give him a call. I know we can. Let's do that. What do you say, Cole? Uh, Gus reached out and offered his condolences. That's right. Gus has now though. killed Carl Weathers and <laughs> yes. OJ. Uh, I just realized something. Yeah. What's that? He's been killing a certain that's true. population. Yeah. Oh, that's true. And given his history. Yeah. yeah. You know? Let's let's mix it up. Then. How about uh, how about Gus and Coleman? Maybe for the next one. If I could point Gus somewhere. <laughs> yeah, let's have him work. Let's have him no. see if he wants to do a show. I don't want to. I don't want to interview with That's not good for no. you. So you, oh, you think it's race related, Justin? I'm saying it's, it's not, for not race for Right, yeah. He's liberal with the N-word. Evidence. We know that. God, he was screaming in Portland. Jesus. <laughs> God. It's... But it was at Mutt, so it didn't really... That's true. It's a good point. <laughs> I don't know if that qualifies as point. offensive. It's a good point. Uh, yeah, I mean, OJ, I mean, for a guy my age, obviously, the trial was massive, but just the, one of the great bizarre, even like post that weird Vegas thing where they broke in the memorabilia and just a... He wrote a book called If I Did It. Just a true... <laughs> Truly strange, psychotic human being. He might be, other than maybe what Trump will be going forward, but, uh -huh. like, the most used, like, topical reference ever. Because today, if, you, if you're yeah. thinking of some criminal, you're like O.J. Simpson. Right. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, O.J.'s looking for the killer. That right. kind of thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I, yeah. He might be number one. Heck, yeah. I mean, right. Other than Trump, I can't think of anybody even close. Yeah. Um. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I saw the Heisman Trophy Twitter account, which is the official account. Tweet like, we're, we're mourning the loss of O.J. Hey, <laughs> the man won. Yeah, he took Reggie Bush's trophy away because he like, got paid to go to college. O.J. still has his trophy. <laughs> Fucking Bills didn't tweet anything out. They didn't? Pathetic. I think they should have. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Patriots tweet out when, like, Terry art, Glenn art dies. from the artist. Well, Terry Glenn didn't cut people's heads off. <laughs> Neither yeah, but, did O.J. But Terry Glenn also <laughs> didn't run for 2,000 yards in a 14-game game. That's true. Straight, brother. That's true. Yeah. O.J. literally cut their heads off. Uh, not literally. And these dumb jurors... Like literally, they the, knew what they were doing. The, true, but the DNA—I know DNA was new at that point. But they were like, "Yeah, we don't understand what this means." They're like, "This means it's a one in four billion chance that somebody else did this." But <laughs> like, oh, one, okay. Like, the, let's, listen, I get they were going for revenge. I, I do understand that, but Jesus, the man couldn't slip the glove past his knuckles. It's for true. God's sake, isn't that because he was <laughs> off steroids or something? I, I thought I saw that recently. Like, I think he, he was, was just, off some medication. I'm pretty sure the glove with a fit. I think he was pretending that. No, that's a fit. good point, Coleman. Yeah. I, never, I never thought of it that way, actually. <laughs> Coleman could be convinced. Yeah, Coleman, that jury. Huh? Didn't, do it. Uh, Didn't do it. Marsha Clark, that dummy. <laughs> Let's this guy walk Christopher Darden. But, uh, but yeah. And also, terrible casting. Uh, Cuba, Cuba Gooding Jr. as OJ was not good casting. Yeah, it was. Very bad casting, but like he pulled it off as best he could. Have. Yeah, he was, he was not. It's almost like he shouldn't have been in it, OJ. Like, he should have been behind the scenes with like all the other people. Like you didn't really, yeah, really need. Oh, really? I thought you meant like OJ should have just played OJ. But if you don't that have him, fine. that would be kind of great. If you don't have OJ, then you're kind of just watching a reenactment of the trial. Sure, but you used to behind this. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, is that is that on anywhere or no? Uh, probably the people versus is it Netflix or no? It oh, was. Uh, it's a uh, oh, was it? Yeah, it, it was for a while. Most like FX stuff is on Hulu, I think. Yeah, that's probably where it is now. Because I remember initially it went, it was probably pre-Hulu. It went right to Netflix, which I think where I watched it, I think, maybe. Or maybe I watched that. Who knows? Not bad. It was worth watching. I got Travolta's in it. I enjoyed it. What else, Justin? You see uh, Billy D. Williams was on Bill Maher. I know. Why couldn't he say this with us? 
Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Disappointing. It's a chandelier with me. Should have had yeah. Gus in here. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, leave him alone, <laughs> Gus. <laughs> because you should do it. That's maybe... Fucking blackface, right? Yes. You. You should, that, that, if you're that, an actor, you should do anything you want to do. I, that's a great point of view, but the theater would be bombed. Oh, I mean, Muni and I used to talk about this all the time. Muni was the one who was the first person that I worked with in those years who said to me, if whatever, as an actor, you should be able to do whatever you think you can do, you should be able to do it. Oh, he's I'm actually kind of surprised Bill Maher isn't on board with him. True, yeah. I, I think even he's scared of that. Yeah. He's like, yeah, he can say it. But yeah, Billy D. Williams is saying you should be able to go blackface if you want. People have, but what? Which we're considering doing here. <laughs> I, mean, I will say, like, people say, like, retard is making a return. Thank you. Like, all these other words might I'm be I'm dancing around with that F homosexual word. Yes. That, <laughs> I'm, I'm, that, that's, I'm, people I'm, are saying that's still yeah. returning. What's that? <laughs> don't, don't go there. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking about it. I know <laughs> who it's coming towards. <laughs> <laughs> well, <that's true. laughs> I just think it's a good word. Oh, it's I just, great. I just yeah. missed the word. Yeah. Because I never say it off the air, so I really miss saying it. <laughs> I didn't say it to my brother when we were talking today at all. Oh, good. But the masters. No, it was just to be clear. The short version or the full word? Uh, the full word. Full word. I agree. Yeah. Isn't it funny, though? Like, everyone knows what we're talking about. Of course. About, it's a word. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. We yeah. just can't make the right. sound. Yeah. It's just <laughs> stupid. So could blackface be But couldn't you also make the word I, I, The word yeah. I agree is out, out of bounds. There's sure. no reason for us to say it. I completely understand that. I don't want to say it. It's never been like a word that like, I'd ever use, but it's like the other one is not about whatever. Who knows? What were you saying, uh, Coleman? No, oh, I was I was kind of saying the M word thing. If, if that was <laughs> you Mark, say it? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying say if that was it, Mark's say op- it. Mark Mike's argument uh, for the F word, then it would be the same for the N word too. Hmm. Like if everyone knows what you're thinking of, and yeah, it's just I mean, a sound. that is actually, that is my real argument. I don't care if we do or don't say it, but like if we all know what we're saying, it's kind of crazy that you. Ah, oh, we got you. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that gotcha stuff is even getting less and less though. Yeah. Until well, Trump's until back November. Or, yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. Once that happens, forget it. Yeah. But also, I would also add that Billy D. Williams probably isn't talking about blackface. Well, you, they were talking about Othello. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. He's not. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Think, I don't think he was talking about like, mesh, what, like shows. Yeah. We changed what like blackface is kind of. Correct. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I would think probably not. What else? <laughs> he was defending. He said, no, I <laughs> want <laughs> Al Jolson was a great man. <laughs> hey. Maybe make a comeback. Who knows? What else, uh, Coleman? They were uh, massacring Gene Hackman on Twitter with his. I know. His Fucked in the New York Post. These idiots. This guy's ninety four, so he's a comfortable outfit. What's he supposed to not wear it? Like I don't even get it. Look at him, 94 man, years old. It's great thing he's just out and about. Oh, shit, at he's 94. He's twice my fucking age, basically. The guy's out there walking around. They do that with every celebrity where, was it like Bon Jovi or something? They're like, he looks like an old lady now. No, I think it was, Jack, it was uh, Jack Nicholson. Maybe, was it? Maybe him this too. This guy's 85. Uh, but that's the thing. He's like, we're all going to get older or die. Yeah, well, 94 <laughs> is? It's like unbelievably old. The guy can still walk around. Like He's yeah. still biking us saw a few months ago. Like, well... I don't get it. What's he supposed to wear? Like a fucking tuxedo? He's going to fucking get a drink. It is a common theme. Though. Didn't they do one about Bruce a couple weeks ago, too? Yeah, he ripped his shirt off and like everybody made like fun a, of him. He looks like a Barbie or whatever. Yeah, they like him. he's like, yeah, he's like old. And he's like, oh, shit, he's going to be 75. I don't really, I don't, I don't, I, yeah, I didn't get that. I felt bad for Gene Hackman. I didn't like seeing that. I did uh, agree with you about Bruce's performance on Curb. I've caught up. Very funny. Yeah. Shockingly <laughs> funny. Trust me. He's he not could a funny have been guy. a couple episodes a year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if he, if he just started, yeah, that yeah. would have been. And the show ended like everyone thought it was going to end. But that yeah. made sense. Like, it was supposed to end like that. I liked it. Yeah, it was fine. As a, as a curb and sign for the I like when those guys are together. Larry and Jerry? Yeah. They're awesome. Together. Like, it's a good way to end the series, honestly. Yeah. They've been together for now for, you know, 35, 40 years. I kind of wish it just ended there instead of him getting on the plane. Yeah, I didn't like that. But... I didn't like that. No. Yeah. No, I did not like that. When they split up, did they have beef? Never. No. I don't think. No, Larry David always wanted to get off that show. That might be, like, the duo. Right. That's ne- Jerry's never had any animosity for Larry doing his own thing. Right. Larry's never shit on Jerry ever. Yeah. Yeah. I think when you see them, it's clear that Larry David is the was more the creative yes. force of the show. But I give Seinfeld credit for, for never knowing resenting that. that. Correct. Yeah. And, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter how much money you make, you still resent it. People right. still would. So, right. but you're right. They've never. <clears throat> they've always been there for each other. They always do stuff together. So. Yeah. They did the thing on SNL when they were like, remember what yeah, we did? Yeah, the anniversary <laughs> yeah. show, which is going to be 10 years. Yeah. Which is crazy to think of because their 50th is coming up, right? Yep, this season. or next Se- September, season. right? They'll yeah. probably do a 50th, which will probably be even bigger. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I yeah, I enjoyed it. Like it was fine. Like it was not the show has gotten a little it's I mean, you know. It was timed in. Like here's Susie yelling, here's Lee. Like it's they, they I think they went through them. They did they did it enough. So you're right. I think it was time. Yeah. I mean they also it's like la- once Larry really started to enjoy being famous. I mm-hmm. mean, I should save this for a future why are you laughing coming this week. Oh, is that but, what, what we got this week? Uh Joan Rivers Blind which is already on Patreon and then the next one will be Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, I haven't listened to Joan Rivers one. It's on Patreon? Uh yes. Just kind of for her entire career, I assume. Pretty much. Didn't yeah. you did you do a Joan Rivers? We well, I did a uh, Joan Rivers versus Carson, so I barely touch on that in this one. But um, so oh okay, so you didn't do much. It was just kind of her stand up career, yeah. And then post like because she had like crazy last fifteen. 20 she had years. a hell of a run. Like, oh, she, she might worked. Be she just worked. One of the best examples of someone who like did it all the way to the end and was like as famous in her seventies as she was in her. 30s or whatever. It kind of reinvention. Yeah. Like that whole fashion thing was her last 20 years of her life. And then she became kind of a social media person. And then, yeah, yeah. She would, I mean, if she's still alive now, she'd be very old, but she'd still be out there. I was saying she would have had a good podcast of the time. Yeah, she'd probably do a podcast right. with her daughter. Yeah. And they would just have different guests on her. She would just rant about stuff. How old? She'd probably be, probably 90 now, no? Yeah. 90, Late 80s. She died at 81 and mm. probably close to 10 years ago. Yeah. I always thought she was very funny. Like, I was not an anti-Joan Rivers person. No, I like Joan. She talked about the Joan Rivers show, or was that part of the other one? I don't remember. Um, oh, the, the late night show? Yeah. Uh, we talked about it a little Briefly. bit, but it was mostly in the other Talk one. about the TV movie she made, where she was... Yes. She, her and Melissa played themselves? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, we t- I talked about the actual movie she made. that She said she liked it, but she said oh, it came out at the same time as Animal House. And with Airplane, um, so. uh, Somebody's in it. Is it Billy Crystal? No. Who's in it? Um, somebody's in it. I can't remember. I forget. Yeah, oh, good. Okay, go subscribe and go uh, blindmike.net and uh, Blind Mike, uh Project on YouTube, right? Yes, thank you. She would have been 90. She would be 90? Yes. There you go. You know that is, Coleman? I actually knew her from, like, The Apprentice. Well, there you go. Sure. In the day. Oh, yeah. but that's, yeah. how, that's another way she reinvented herself. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. I didn't play it on the show, but I found a clip where she's like, I, I went into the, the, that show with these preconceived notions about Donald Trump, and he's just fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> her documentary is very good. Yeah. Did you watch it? It's kind of sad. Yeah, but it's good though. Yeah. Like it's like, that's what I liked about her. She wasn't afraid to like you know make fun of herself. She was obviously very open about oh, like, like completely made fun of herself. More made fun of her, her husband's suicide, right? Her and... p- p- massive plastic surgery, yeah. like her you know her bad her bad business decisions. Like she got swindled. Like she was yeah, she was great. Dude, she was a great Stern guest too. Yeah, it's there's like great. a ten hour compilation of her on Stern. Yeah, the only clip I used was her shitting on Chelsea Handler, but she shits on a lot of people. Oh, that's right, <laughs> that's right. Jesus, what else, guys? You see, uh, I don't know why I find it so funny. Whenever Steve goes after this, like, Steve Collins guy. Uh, Steve is like Dino, I'm telling you. He gets very, like, you're fat, you're ugly. Like, he's very, it's, yeah, yeah. So Why does he hate this guy so much? He's a big no liberal? fucking clue. I think he's, yeah, I think he's on the other side of, of uh, the main wire. Right. Uh, and he's called him out a couple of times. So Steve has some quote tweet about how Gaza's more reliable now than sure. our CDC. Steve Collins. Reach quote tweet says this, it's sickening this cre- Cretan is pretending to be a journalist. He's not even a competent purveyor of propaganda. I don't think Steve like that. <laughs> Steve quote tweets that the Steve Collins Maine Press Association 2022 Journalist of the Year, the Kevin Cullen of Maine. Post another one, uh, tags him in it. I don't think you'd fit in my car, or even in my XL Sprinter van, but if we could find a way to bring your sweaty bulk into the field for some actual journalism, I would be happy to show you how it's done. Hey, hey, hey. And then this next one I don't even get. He says, I'll debate Steve. He puts Steve in quotes as if like, oh. <laughs> as if it's not his actual oh, name. Oh, not. I guess. Okay. Collins it's on not. the topic of his choosing anytime, anyplace, as long as it's live streamed to X. Let's talk journalistic ethics. Let everyone see. I know I shouldn't punch down at this diabetic boomer, but he is an award-winning <laughs> journalist. It's a great one. Let's bring him in here. That'd be great. I'm maybe fine with that. Maybe put Steve in quotes because he always thinks that the real Stephen Collins is the seventh heaven dad. That's true. You know? Why well, no? Like, you this, support this phony. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, his back. <laughs> Steve texted me the other day, totally randomly. Mm-hmm. He sent me a tweet from uh, I think like the New York Post or something. It was just that John Wade and Bobbitt lost his toes. <laughs> really? And it was like it's interesting to think of. What makes you think of me? <laughs> why, why? He did that? <laughs> he just sent that to me. Really? Yeah. Jesus. It's very odd. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. I was good, like, good, to, good to hear from you. <laughs> oh, show announcement, Mike. Sort of uh, show related. Uh, 
David in Maryland and Don the Jeweler will have access to the show Twitter account Whoa. going forward. That's go. two. Yeah, I so mean, those are. Let them let, that's uh, big. reach out to them. So let them give them, uh, gotcha. send them to Just Not. Give them all the access. Yep. It's theirs. Don the Jeweler got a big shout out on uh, Lauren Compton's show, I believe. That's right. I saw that. He was very excited. Yes. Yes, yeah. he was very excited. Um, what was the off air conversation like? We were friends. She, we went to lunch the day before. Oh, you did? Yeah. Wow. It was lovely. You hung out with her. Uh, First her hand job, Mike has got a lunch with AJ at that time. <laughs> no, her, her, her boyfriend was there. <laughs> that was a strange moment. First one he gave, I mean, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Mike. The, the, no, no, her boyfriend was there. Mike, I don't think you actually got a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> Under the table. <laughs> Come on, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, come on. This is the, 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 on tour. That'd be so crass. Yeah, please. please. <laughs> this is an ugly conversation. Is she like a normal, because she sounds like a hysterical lunatic. Um, who should obviously have her brain removed. Like, is she normal? Yeah. She's okay. definitely bubbly like that, but I like Ugh. enjoyed her. I, I, I enjoyed her. You probably wouldn't because you don't like fun. You know? That's you, Mike, all the way. <laughs> Guy sucking comes- almonds in Mississippi by himself. <laughs> Big fun. He's out there. I looking, had other look, food items. Looking for a good time. That's Mike all the way. <laughs> hey, where are we going? What's up? <laughs> hey, Mike, What's I'm going to take a drive around. No, I'm good. Yeah. What's the haps, guys? Where are we going? What's the deal today? Happy hour anywhere? Emphasis on happy? I mean, I've been saying yes to life more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, well, that's good. That's good. You know, she seems like a nice person. Yes. All right. What else, Coleman? What do you got? Uh, Mike, did you hear the theory I had about why are you laughing? How I thought that... Let's say he didn't, for argument's sake. So, <laughs> this is the most retarded thing. If he said yes, would you have not said the theory yeah, on the show? Probably not. <laughs> well, let's move on. <laughs> have you heard of Mike? I have not. Okay, good, good. So what did you, you say, Justin? I said this is like the most retarded thing in the, in the world. <laughs> okay. That's saying a lot for Coleman. Well, I thought that in, in the episode, he gives this story about how he laughs in the girl's pussy. Mm. And so I thought oh, no that was... Comes. Yeah, I thought that was her response to him doing that. Why are you laughing? And that's why he named his show. Why are you laughing? Oh, mm. is that even a theory? I that's guess a it's a theory, is. right? I guess it's a sort of a theory. Ten years later, <laughs> I thought it stuck with you. Names his in-depth <laughs> comedy podcast. <laughs> yeah, maybe that was that was your first like a little double little, little double thing going on. Exactly. There? Oh. Yes. You can tell Coleman's never listened to Why Are You Laughing. That's true. The intro is actually literally why I call it that. Pick but. up on it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 fifteen. He hits a fifteen button until the still the show really starts. Yeah. I understand. Oh my God! What else, Coleman? Um, oh, uh, oh, I saw. Sure, yeah. No, I saw uh, Stallone was under fire for Tulsa. King. Fucking nothing burger story. I was. Uh, give me something good. I read it. It was nothing. It was like mean to people. Yeah, it was. That he just was didn't weird. want like fat people on set. Yeah, he wants beautiful people around him. Yeah, I understand. What's wrong so with that? Stallone? Yeah, with, you know, ugly background people. I oh. thought it was like. I thought it was like. Something really bad, but it really wasn't. That is kind of an odd request for a show that takes place in Tulsa. I'm going to try to huh? believe it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have my doubts. I'm a Stallone guy. That might be why, but who knows? Everyone looks beautiful at Milton's. Spring is here at Milton's, a store for men. Harry's making fun of my new readers, Justin, these glasses here. Oh, no. Fuck them, cheaters. Think? What do you think of these things, huh? I think they look fantastic. Thank you. Uh, check out the spring collection from Peter Millar, Ferretti, Tommy Bahama, Vineyard Vines, and Johnny O. Go to their stores. So sure. Our stores, really. We're in there. We're, we're with these guys. South Shore Plaza, Braintree, Chestnut Court, Chestnut Hill, and the Burlington Mall or shop online at Milton's.com. Dress in casual shoes. If you're getting married, lots of uh, marriages coming up, proms, uh, graduations, buy one, get one free suit event is going on as we speak. Uh, from Calvin Klein, Michael Kors, Tommy Hilfiger, which are all on sale right now. The original sponsor of Kirk Minahan. That is true. Uh, even before my AA sponsor. Wow. Milton's was there for me. It's true. They are actually my AA sponsor. I bring I bring a store with me to AA. <laughs> the I brought pocket. the Chestnut Hill store with me the other day. I dragged it into the car and then threw it in the AA meeting. It was fine. Everybody looked, everyone looked great during it. That's very nice. Yeah, I thought it was great. Uh, at Milton's, you'll be as comfortable in our stores as you'll be in our clothes. Go to Milton's.com uh, and check out their great deals right now. I don't think I'm, there's no Milton's.com shout out in this, this ad read. Milton's.com. No, huh? Weird. But go there. I believe yes. it still exists, right? Yeah, it's in the in the description as well. So, what do you mean? Uh, like in the YouTube description, it says support ah, Milton's you. at Milton's. Some people are listening to the podcast, Coleman. More more people than watching on YouTube, you know. Well, yes. I think we just sent them there with that Milton's dot com plug, right? Well, I know Coleman, but okay. I'm just saying, maybe maybe they pick. I like that Mike looks at, like confusingly at Coleman. Mike can't even see what he's looking at. He just <laughs> moves his head that way and just looks confused. I just know I'm confused in that direction. <laughs> that's right. It's like you can feel it. Can, it's true. I can feel it too. Yeah, you're right. I'm doing as well. It's, it's, 
I sense trouble. Yeah, it's, it's just there. It's, yeah. just, it's just hanging over everything. <laughs> How was hanging out at home? It's great. Uh, yeah. Weird, weird thing that happened, though. Is your Saturday? mom talking about fucking again or what? No. no okay. So, Jesus. she I mean, does. That's what he said. Yeah. No, no. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm saying Jesus thinking about her just getting legless on family vacations. She says, why are you laughing? There's a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Well, offshoot of that somewhat. Mm-hmm. Uh, when when uh, uh, Chris Coleman was young, he was taking a shower and his mom walked in and she said, magic. <laughs> and he said, what does that mean? He said oh, I think I got my future career job now. <laughs> well, according to your wire, that's how he got the title for his career. <laughs> <I guess. Okay. laughs> um, so Saturday, uh, mm-hmm. Saturday night, we went out to dinner. Who's it? Who, who's we? Uh, it's me, my brother, my mom, my dad, and my dad's sister, my aunt. You, Chris, your yep. mom, your dad, and your aunt and uncle. Just my aunt. Just your aunt. Aunt. Okay. Aunt. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> not trying. We're not at that Jesus point. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Remember at the end of I, well, the E True Hollywood Story for Three's Company, an old sitcom I watched years ago. Oh, the E True Hollywood Story. I always liked those. They're good. They were great. Yeah. You can't find them anywhere. Some are on YouTube, don't Some are, but some aren't. Which, oh. Like, that one's not. It depresses me. I'd definitely watch it. The, the show was on from, I think, 77 to 84. And John Ritter said, uh, he's like, I knew it was over the last season. They, we had a script where one of us, like, found a cat, and that happened early in the series. So that's when I knew it was over. <laughs> so if I was going to re-de- re-debate on versus ants with another producer, I think I would just get <laughs> in the car. Yeah, I'd be expect- like, I think, I think we've literally talked about everything at this point. Well, Curb was doing that. They where, were. Like, yeah. Literally, they did a Mickey Ma- where I was like, is this an homage to Seinfeld? Like the Mickey Mantle name. Right. That's true. There were a couple others in there. He took a pen from Ted Danson where I'm like. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, I'm like, maybe he's like paying homage to Seinfeld. But Right. Which one hmm. Which one is this of the E! True Hollywood story? Uh, e- Three's Company. Three's Company. I'll find it for you. Okay, Joseph. It's not, it's not that. Why don't you worry about this one? All right. Go ahead. So Saturday night, we're all I'll going out to dinner. You. Um, and I start getting texts from this random girl that I maybe talked to for all of 10, 15 minutes throughout the entirety of like middle school, high school. And she's sending me pictures of her with my first grade teacher, like out. What? What happened? I haven't, I haven't talked to this girl. You're in, out where? What are you saying? We're out at dinner. You're on swing this to you? No, no. This random girl from town. What does it have to do with the fact you're, uh, so you're out with your family? Yes, I'm out at dinner. Like, oh, some girl just randomly, she's not there. She's not there, but she starts sending. Your friends are there. And you no, were out with your like, first grade teacher at one time? What are you saying? No. So she starts sent this girl that I don't really know. Well, how does she have your phone number? Like I know enough from parties gotcha. back in the day. Right? What's her first name? Carly. Carly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Starts sending pictures of just my first grade teacher. Out of nowhere. I haven't talked to this girl in maybe like eight years. Who gives a shit? It's a very strange thing when she didn't have her as her first grade teacher. Oh, wow. That changes everything. What was it the reason? A little bit. <laughs> I, she just <laughs> met her out or whatever, and I came up in conversation. So she met who? My first grade teacher. Well, then it's, then it's relevant. She saw her. But like, uh, That's, you, well, you're believing on a huge part of the story. So if I ran into my first grade teacher, it, it, I understand for me it's been longer. But my first grade teacher is actually dead, sadly. But if I ran into her, I would definitely text somebody I went to school with. I, I could see that, but Mike. I don't go to yeah. school with her. But but he's saying he doesn't know her, like really. But but she's your first grade teacher. The she first ran gra- into your oh, first grade. Oh, you know teacher. what? This is actually even more. The only connection Carly has to this woman is you. Yes. So that does make sense that she would text you. But I'm not even friends enough or close enough for her to be sending pictures or whatever. Maybe she's trying to start something. But then like Coleman, a girl texts him and he's like, ew, what does she, what does she, what does she want? First grade teacher. It's just a very strange thing. This but then bitch. she starts FaceTiming me. She's like, answer, answer. I'm like, I'm out at dinner, whatever. Like, just give me some time. So I get on. Give me some time. My first grade teacher is <laughs> absolutely <time>. sloshed. <laughs> like, obliterated. How old is she? She's like late 50s, early 60s. Okay. Oh. And my mom is also kind of banged up. Well, and sure. then the, the well, two that, of them. That's a given. <laughs> that was the two of them start talking on FaceTime with each other. Scissoring each other on the phone. <laughs> Jesus. It's the strangest thing ever. When you don't know that person. and they're, Why would you just hang up the phone? I was way too far. Why'd you answer it? I, I don't know. She keeps FaceTiming me. And she's like, don't be a lame. I didn't want to be a lame. You want what? She kept saying, don't be a lame. <laughs> A lame? A lame. Why don't you just block this person from your... I don't understand. No, that's what a normal, rational person would do, but... 
Can I tell you why I want Coleman to be nice. is the worst stories of all time? Oh my god, that is one of the worst <laughs> stories ever told. It's because it's like, it's like, it's like a story. It's, it's, it's unbelievably it's incomplete, strange. so it ropes you in a little bit. You have questions you want to ask about it. I just find myself so annoyed during your stories. It's just so annoying. It's a but dumb like, story. Gus could tell a bad story, and we just move on. Right. Like Coleman, like yeah, you, you need to ask follow. It's also a whiff of it being bullshit too. <laughs> it is not. This happened. I, I believe you, but I could that. I could see that people would say it's bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, people, well, are, people This, this people first grade teacher is going to be found. Carly is definitely okay, going to be found. Look, this is nuts. I just found it. It's a yeah. Hollywood story. It was uploaded to YouTube 22 hours ago. Really? Yeah, I'll send it to you right now. Hmm. By Kay Minahan. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. That was a good find, Justin. Really proud of you, Justin. <laughs> Justin wasn't even listening to the conversation. <laughs> yeah, something about yeah. Coleman's mom was drunk and talking to his first grade teacher. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Pretty much. What's weird, Mike, is I have no questions about it. Oh, I, I, I do. Like of. what? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Don't go in too much. Uh, do, what was the? Did this, this woman remembered you vividly? The first grade teacher. Yes. And she brought you up to Carly. I guess so. Said, yeah. Do you know Jack Coleman? Yeah. I don't know if I'm buying this. Well, I don't know that part of the story either. Like, they were out and... Did this spark conversing. a conversation between you and Carly? Well, so then I saw Carly hey, later that night, and she just completely ignored me. Wow. But after that whole thing, it's very strange. Hmm. It's incredibly strange. Is it? I would get a zero on this story if I take a <laughs> quiz, by the way. A zero. <laughs> Good news, I'd get a hundred. I think Coleman was homeschooled, maybe? I don't even really understand. <laughs> His aunt's dead or something? I don't even know what's going on. But <laughs> like, I went to breakfast with somebody? It's so you? boring that no one would ever make it up. It's like, I feel like my body, like, <laughs> I feel like I'm being, I'm paralyzed after that story. I can't even move. <laughs> the world is so much worse <laughs> after that story. Paralysis demon. It's an interesting mix where it's like, it's a mix of Steve when like we would feel like Steve was lying. Right. But all, but just having It's kind of a Steve story in a way. But not quite. Right. It's like Coleman in a, in a lot of ways. Yes. It's like yeah. Steve, but not. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. He's like a, yeah. He's a more conservative Steve. We know yeah. that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Someone said this. I tweeted out the that clip, the Tommy clip from uh, What's Podden. Yeah, I saw that. And uh, someone said, I thought it was a very good point. Uh-huh. They said, you know what's amazing is that and it must speak to how dumb everyone else in the producer search was. We thought Coleman was genuinely like very smart. No, no, no. I, you I, didn't. But I, I thought he was like like a competent, like br- like not even bright, but like, I thought of him as like, like a, top a, of a stuff. pro's pro. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he yeah, knows. Yeah, yeah. It. That was just the example. If he wasn't in that much, I guess he was in what like twice. I, I mean, I I think I could be a little bit smarter than the rest of those guys. Well, that's Ooh, the other that's part. That's the other part of it too, though. Like these, right. That, yeah. Well, that's what this person was saying. On yes. Twitter, yes. Yeah. No, I think that's true. Yeah. Man, I don't think I'm ever recover from that story. That was a terrible <laughs> story. It's completely now, strange. And thanks to that horrible story, Carly's going to be harassed on Instagram now. <laughs> True, and, you know, it doesn't even exist. I don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> I find it strange. I guess, I guess that Coleman, somebody Coleman doesn't know very well at all, would message him all that stuff. Though I guess well, I, that's, that's what, what that, I'm saying. I have to do a 180 on that. I suppose that happens. Uh, I feel like they no, know each other better than he's leading on. Yeah, I think maybe some of that too. When there's like when there's like some something What did you respond to her call? What were you saying? I can go back. Hey, Shorty. <laughs> What's good, girl? You got a brother? <laughs> Casey is texting me claiming that I'm uh and she did not take Hannah's side. Oh. She did apologize how she handled the situation. She thought piling on was not the right thing to Hannah Cook at that time. Hmm. Uh yeah. How she, do you feel about that? Uh, I don't agree, but you know that's fine. That's her opinion. You know. How does Justin feel about it? More importantly, he seemed very broken up about it. Uh, well, it depends. Like, is she willing to pick a side now? <laughs> doesn't matter. It, do- it doesn't matter. It's no big deal. I, I understand. Maybe it's a tough situation. Anna Crook was drunk, whatever. But you know, you feel one way, and then you know it's, that, that's life. You, that that that's all. But you know, I'm sure Casey meant well. Sure. I suppose. I guess. I don't know what else. I mean, I can't believe we'll talk about anything else after that story. But go ahead. <laughs> Uh, so you're going to be judging a film competition. In I am next week. I'm back in Chicago at the end of next week. It's next week? Next, I believe it is, right? Oh, wow. It's in April. So we're almost done with April, right? Yeah. I think two, it's, I think it's next right? Friday. I think. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I think it's two weeks. A week from Friday. So, yeah, whatever. Yeah. 
12 days from now. This was, this was an idea PFT had that we tried to do in the summer when we moved here. Didn't get sold, and then we kind of re reconvened after the combine. So we want to do it again. We got it. Uh, we got it sold. So we're doing a film festival, forty-eight yeah. hour film yeah. festival. Yeah. We're splitting the entire office up: content people, production people. There will be four teams, so it's not going to be like a team Yak, team PMT. Everyone will be split out between different teams. They're going to have forty-eight hours to write and shoot a seven to twelve. I won't compare to other, I won't compare it to other offices, but it's weird how that's going to get done, and then they'll have like a, <laughs> an event for it. <laughs> well, yeah. it's also they're not going to come up with it in forty eight hours. You're telling me no one's allowed to think of it. Oh now? yeah, right. You shut your brains off. I suppose. <laughs> yeah. I suppose you have to. do I think it they're going to give you like categories and stuff. Like, yeah, it has yeah, to be. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. So it's me, Jeff, and Dan. I think is that right? Yes, Jeff is also coming in. That's fine. It'll be good. I mean, you know, I like being. It's fine. I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind doing that. Would oh. you be judging it on like a film festival scale, basically? What does that even mean? Um, like, like in terms of like how you view movies. You think it'll be as general. good as Oppenheimer? <laughs> you think Frank, who, yeah, as yeah, an yeah, actor, yeah, what will be going to happen? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you'd have a certain set of standards for being a judge of film. Uh, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Am I going to be like the Simon Cowell? Is that That's the deal? More, that was my the bad question. boy of yeah. the uh, whatever. I mean, we'll see. Maybe they'll all be good. I'm sure one will stink. Sure. I, I don't that, know. But that could are. be the funniest. I don't think. I don't think it's going for comedy though. I think no, but but for barstool purposes, the worst one definitely could be the best. You know, yes, I guess so. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. So yeah, it's that's... not going for comedy. What are they taking this? Are they going to submit it to Can? Yeah, I don't think I'll be like dramas, <laughs> Justin. Like Schindler's List. I don't know. Well, you have Clummer for that, I guess. PFT at Sundance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think it's going to be right. Yeah, I don't think we're talking about like. You know, the brutal, English patient. Like, and, yeah, I, think it's, I mean, you know, twelve years a slave. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you expect. I mean, maybe it'll be some of that. Maybe it'll be like a horror movie. I don't know. It'll be fun, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't mind being in Chicago. You know, obviously, I like Jeff and Dan and all those guys. So we'll have a good time. I think. I don't know. Chicago guy now. I know. Home away I'm, from home. I'm back again for the trivia. So it's a few months after that. I think last year was the end of June. Sounds about right. Yes. I think. I don't know. On the NBA playoffs. That's right. Right when it starts. <laughs> what else, Justin? Have you seen the uh, this mo- this uh, Civil War? This I have not. Movie? No. Did you see it? I have not seen it, but apparently it's the highest grossing, or it's not the. It has the highest opening weekend of any A twenty four movie. I saw that. It made like twenty five million. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll be talking about that. My friends at Bo Bo Boys on tomorrow. I'll be on there tomorrow. On their episode drops tomorrow, I think. So, I've been on there in a while. They're part of our family as well. Yeah. Um. Do you have any interest in it? Yeah, I'll see it at some point, I guess. Yeah, I'll probably catch it at some point, I suppose. Hope there's no bombing at the marathons tomorrow, Mike. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Just gotta hope so. Yeah. Yeah. What? Hmm? You say kind of hope so? No, I mean, like, God, I hope so. Like, uh, I hope there isn't. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, you know, it's yeah. been 11 years, which is crazy. We're due. Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> the weather looks good. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking about running one more. Maybe next really? after I turn 50 again. Because I ran one of my, I ran some of my 20s, some of my 30s, some of my 40s, maybe four different decades, you know? Wow. Yeah. Maybe I'll do one in 2025. I was thinking to do a smaller one, have a bunch of men of fans there, and then do like a show after, like a small show after, not like How a show show. How do a show after that? For a couple of years, I did this Dennis and Callahan. Is, he's, he's good. Shut up. I did Dennis and Callahan. <laughs> two years in a row, I did the show for a couple hours in Boston and that's ran the marathon. I did TV that night two years in a row. So why, I was why, much younger. But yeah. That's why he's Kirk and we're us. That's with true. The amount you, with the amount you run, I know you'd have to train differently for a marathon, oh. but you run every day. If, if I said do a marathon tomorrow. Well, I mean, I could do it if I start and stopped. I'd have to stop yeah. a few times. I, I could do it. Yeah. Um, but I'd stop a, a good few amount of times for sure. It would take me a long time. Right. Um, it would hurt. Like, that's the thing is when you train. Like you're not a sore. Like I'd be sore for weeks after that. Okay. So, but, but what, see, give me some 2025 marathons, Justin, in the spring around the country. You run a small one. I like the small ones. Boston's too it's too crowded. I like a good find a nice small one. Maybe we'll bring some in the fans in and if they're around, we can do the show after. Early spring 2025, like March, April, maybe. I don't know. Albany. That's gonna be kind of big. Pine Mountain. Where's that, Georgia? Uh, yes. Myrtle Beach, Little Rock. Uh, Myrtle Beach, Napa. Maybe. Uh, I ran the Napa Marathon. A run through 2010, time. 2010, I ran that. Huh? A run through time is in Colorado. Nah, it's going to be hilly. Zadeco Marathon. That's mm. in Virginia Beach. What about the Auschwitz Marathon? They have one there? 
Maybe now. So Run away from like Nazis anyway. chase you. Yeah. For, I mean, something, something interesting. Know, something, yeah. something, something, something interactive. Covenant Health Knoxville Marathon. I like Knoxville. Um, Bakersfield, hmm. California. Ellsburg, Ellensburg, Washington. Yeah, well, I'll figure it out. Don't worry. It stinks the Masters was such a dud the last hour today. It's like it, since the Tiger year, it's been dud city the last Sundays. There's no drama. Fucking Scheffler's the machine. It stinks. Tiger, that's going on a long time now. That's what. Seven, Five years. Eight, years. He won Five nineteen. Years? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he stunk this weekend. They finished dead last. Everybody made the cut. Not good. This is the first time where I think even the Tiger ball washers like the rigs of the world are probably like it's over. Yeah. He's too never much, winning again. Too much coverage of him too. The entire. I time. know, but I get it. Like he's a needle mover. Like the common, the hardcore golf fans don't give a shit. I mean, they like to see him, but like the but the guys, the people flipping the channel don't care about Scotty Scheffler. Against Ludwig Ober, and yeah. stuff. they just don't care. I bet it's not as much as it used to be, though. Mm. Like, I, I'm if I was watching, sure, I'd look for Tiger, but I wouldn't really give a shit anymore because you kind of know he's done. Sure, it'd be like Jordan with the Wizards. Yeah, you know? kind of. What's that, just when I worked the uh, TPC in Mansfield and Norton? Yep. The difference between like if Tiger was there and wasn't there, crazy, it would be, right? It would be double. That was like prime Tiger, though, right? Uh, that was like uh, 2014. To, oh, so I mean, he's still, you yeah. know. He's I'm, still I'm by far the biggest star of any golfer, but. Oh, not even close. Yeah. I think he means more to golf, like ratings wise, than anybody does to any sport. Yeah. <clears throat> For sure. Even even still now, he's 48. So. What did you think about uh, Bryson with the 3D printed clubs and everything this oh, week? He's the weirdo. Whatever. I mean, it's just, it's, he tries too hard. He's trying. He's just fucking trying way too hard. Uh, what else? The uh, the landlord reached out and asked if he wants to uh, renew our lease. Uh, does the heat the heat work all winter or no? Oh yeah, I think so. past winter. There's yeah. no issue. Well, until think? the time I shut it off. That's, that wasn't their fault though. Yes, well, I'm, looking, I'm, looking, I'm looking at my left. It was a recent trivia match. I'll just say there's an enormous hole in the wall. <laughs> hmm. That's a big one, huh? Yeah, that might have. Uh, it's respect load. Some frustration there. Um, I mean, you guys aren't capable of finding another place, so I guess so. Let's do it again. Here's the thing: <laughs> didn't she ask for a three year lease? Oh, she not, she said three. We're, we're not doing that. Yeah. But the one that I the email I was most recently sent was two. Okay, how about counter with one? Okay, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see what they say to that. If they say two, we'll talk. But I mean, this is what it is. Like, it's just this is our home. We've been here now for what, Mike, four years. E- More coming right? up on five, yeah, almost five. Yeah, we're what, uh, late. It was like early fall we moved back here. So you like you had the place in September. I yeah. think the first show we did might have been late September, early October. I don't even know if Steve looked at me. Like like, what was the first place he looked at or not? I don't remember. Was it true that Cullinane found this place? Could be. That, no, no, Cullinane found Red Thirteen. That's true. <clears throat> yeah, Steve was. Because this what was this here or did Steve put that in the? Was that I, the I, believe, I believe there was I've a always wall wondered here. that. Oh, the window. Yeah, Steve cut that out apparently. He did. <laughs> yeah, with with some help. I and yeah, the Kirk's. Who was the guy? The Kirk's painter. Yeah, he came in and did some stuff too. I yes. think. And yeah, 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 yeah. Painted the mural among other things. I mean, this, this place is fine. It's what it is. It sounds fine. What are we gonna do? Move somewhere else? It just feels unlikely at this point. Yeah. But Dave and I were we looked at three or four places a year ago. Yeah, that was after uh, the AC shit the bed. Yes, that one day. it was like 100. Well, you remember the one where I had the weird hat on? It was like 10 degrees in the winter <laughs> last year. And then it was like 95 degrees and the AC didn't work. Yeah. And that's, I feel like people are always fucking in the bathroom, like fixing the ceiling. I don't know. Because that's how they get to the roof, which is so. There's nowhere sense. else. I mean, the church doesn't have a bathroom. <laughs> oh, it has a bathroom, but that's where the roof access is. Oh, yeah. Well, whatever. All right. Well, say. Character. Say, I, I, the only thing I would say is I just, you, you never know. So I would say, how about one year? And then we can have the conversation. You know, okay. I mean, but, I mean, is that a Barstool conversation we have to have or no? I'd, I would be the one to fire back a one year. Okay. See what this Oh, you're handling is. negotiations. I am, yes. Wow. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah throw him a, no idea who she's dealing with. Throw him a, <laughs> throw him a one year counter. <laughs> one <and> sassy <laughs> producer. You know, we'll probably settle for two. Uh, three is nuts. I, I mean, we're not going to sign a three year lease. No. Yeah, no. Th- that's her being lazy get- because she doesn't want to. And she's thinking you've been here for every five, so maybe we don't have to do it. Every what do you do when we leave with this place? It's like, does she even know about this? I think <laughs> I think Steve told her, okay. but like, there's holes and all this. Like, what is she gonna do? Just get it fixed. Massage, yeah, I guess, yeah. massage parlor. Guess. That's true. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're just not getting your deposit back. How much is that? I have no idea. No. Pro- Normally, probably like two a month's month. rent. No, whatever. What do we pay a month? A couple of grand. I think it's like two twenty six hundred, maybe. Yeah, around there. For what it is, it's fine. 
I mean, Steve's dream of this being like a podcast universe where there's different podcast <laughs> didn't really take off. Did you, were saying, you were saying that to uh, Jeff D. Lowe the other day. Oh, like, was I? There's going to be a Republican we're podcast we're going on and a liberal yeah. podcast. <laughs> Guys will be talking sports over here. <laughs> well, we are breaking news over here. Yeah, not so much. I guess not. I'll die with a. It's well, a good. good it's crazy though. thing. Of Jerry, was Jerry in here trying out that day? Did yeah. We, oh yeah, because because we, we taped him. Yeah. That's wild. We're gonna, Jerry's going to do the, his show from here. Yeah. That he was in here. Great. And that would have been so. <laughs> that been awesome. Eventually, would have just been so weird. So well, I mean, it would have stopped. I guess. <laughs> How's he sounding? I haven't heard anything from him. Nazis and white supremacists. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Still doing the show? I think so. Well, that's good. Yeah. I'm glad to right? hear that. I yeah. think he is. Oh, good. Yeah, I haven't, I've not, I, I did not, uh, I'm definitely sure he's all fired up this week. What's that? I said, I'm sure he's all fired up this week. Why? What's that? You, don't, you haven't seen World War Three? World War III coming, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw that. I don't know what to say. Sure. Are you scared for Harry? I'm worried. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried. <laughs> for Harry, I'd definitely be worried. Kate now um, too, they would. Is that true? Well, I mean, oh, I they have want to, right? equality. That's true. I suppose that's true. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I stay away from that stuff. Is that what? Hmm? What is the age that that's cut off at? What do you mean? The draft. Oh, cut oh, off oh, at twenty-five. Yeah. I believe. Oh, yeah, I, don't, I might be a risk. You'd be a killer over there, Coleman. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Coleman's Coleman's dad would pull some strings. Oh, well, for sure. Coleman was never going to war. No, oh, yeah. Vietnam. Oh, come on. Yeah, Justin would be. I'd pull a Justin Trump in Vietnam would be a born eyes. Vietnam. Although you got so many health issues. I think my I I could fake my eyes. If it was World oh, that's War true. II, that's I could have I could have been like, but also if I wanted to push it. Would you have wanted to fight World War II? In World War II, I probably would have. Right. In I was, Vietnam, I, I probably would have too. I always like the I loved, I'd like to kill something. Like uh, Jesus. half the com- the old comedians I've done an episode on, it's always they faked something to get out of uh, World War Two or right, right, Nam right. or whatever. Right. And Lenny Bruce's was he pretended to be gay. That's <laughs> right, <laughs> which is a pretty great way that to go get about you out. It. That's what Springsteen <laughs> yeah. said he did to get out of Vietnam. Yeah, yeah, pretty smart. Yeah, what do you do? Just go in there and just be like, "Hey, boys!" <laughs> <laughs> Back then it was like terrifying. Yeah. So yeah, that's, <laughs> those were the days. Uh, Jesus fake, Christ, fake gay Bruce would have been something to say. Oh Jesus. Me suck your cock there, brother. Yeah, you're looking pretty good there. <laughs> What's your review of Bruce Springsteen, Justin? Uh, he, he's a, a showman. He's very, I don't know if I should say this. He's very black churchy. He's very what? In what way? Like, do you feel the spirit, my brothers and sisters? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, really? Do you feel it going through you? Well, you, some of that's going on, yeah. Did you, uh, how many songs did you know? Uh, like five. Okay. Is your is uh, Paul, is that his name? Mark. Mark. Is Mark's he a big a, fan or He's no? a very big fan. He was okay. telling me. He's is like, he handing out pizzas to people or no? Uh, nope, this is okay. a different, this is... Oh, this is the annoying the guy I saw at the Bruce show at Gillette. Yes. Oh, gotcha. They're yeah. both very big Bruce fans. fans. Who are? Uh, Anth, that's the the, guy, the pizza guy you're thinking of. I've never liked that nickname just, for Anth. That's a terrible nickname. Just go Tony. 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 Yeah. Or, or Ant, not we Ant. Him, we call him Anth or we call him Mutt. Anth? Yeah. Why do you call him Mutt? Because he, he's an old dog. <laughs> Anth? That's just nickname Anth? That's what I call him. It's like a lisp name. I don't know, that's what his family called him. So They I, did? Yeah, they called him Anth. That's a terrible name. Oh, okay. okay, well, his name's Anthony. I feel okay. bad for the shot. I just took a mutt for no reason. I take it back. What'd you say? He said he called him mutt. Why is everyone does he have talking no about mutt? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so I went with uh, went with Mark. And uh-huh. It was our seats were good. They were behind the stage. Good. But uh, but yeah, I didn't, I I knew uh, Steve's a liar. That was that was cool. Apparently, they haven't played that in a while. Right. Yep. Yep. Um, That's I true. Born to Run. Yep. Dancing in the Dark? Dancing in the Dark, I knew. And there was... Oh, Mama Geary stuff. Thunder Road, no? Oh, I know Thunder... Oh, well, I know Thunder Road because of a cover. Uh-huh. Um, and then, yeah, the, all the other ones I just kind of vibed, vibed to. You're a vibe guy, but he, But he was... He puts on a fucking performance. He's the greatest. He's the greatest. I, the, uh, another thing I like from him on Curb is, like, uh, when you live... It seems like he's a guy that cares about his like public image and everything. Yeah. And you could tell he felt like uh, I get to be a little naughty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you could say floor fucker, floor fucker. Yes. You almost yeah. didn't make it to the show. You see, yeah, flat tire. Yeah, Thank yeah. God. Yes, I'm sure he definitely takes a car from New Jersey to <laughs> a casino for a show. They definitely fly him. Regular in guy. Yeah, he's just, just, yeah, he just takes his own car. You know. <laughs> hey, uh, my maps go. Do I take her twelve? Which way do I go? Okay, yeah. I, mean, I got a show tonight. Well, yeah. What else, Coleman? But uh, I was going to oh, say, I'm sorry, Justin. Mark, Mark was telling me beforehand that's how it's going to be like a religious experience. Mm-hmm. How like I won't stop listening. Didn't to feel it. I, it just it's just not for me. Sure, I understand. It's not, yeah, I, people were like, it's not for it's like, not for everybody. He was convinced I was going to be like you and me, Albany Monday. Yeah. What do you call you call it? Albany. 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 Yeah. It's not Alba. No. 
What? What's that? No. What? Don't you think it's Albany? Oh, I agree. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, you got. Oh, is Mark going? Uh, I think he was thinking about it. No. I was thinking I'd like to go to the Syracuse show on Thursday, but tickets are cheap for Syracuse. Yeah, they are very cheap. Well, like cheap for a Bruce concert. I was thinking like a Minifan fan might have a couple of tickets. I don't have to go with him. Maybe they have a private plane they could fly me there. How far is the drive? Five Cruise. hours. I think four hours. Not bad. No, no, not bad at all. But like I like a Minifan fan just to give me a couple of tickets so I don't have to sit with them. Yeah. You know? That would be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> you do, you know. It'd be nice if you could just give me something and yes. I do nothing in return. Well, I give you a show for fucking <laughs> That's you know, true. every day. Just enjoy the point. show. Yeah. What else you got, Coleman? Uh, did you and Harry get to watch WrestleMania? Uh, we yeah. He was he was uh uh yeah. He was okay with it. Like he liked the second night. Uh, yeah. It was okay. I'm sure it was a couple of weeks ago, right? Um. Like a, oh, it was like last, last week, right? Yeah. Week, right? yeah, like they they they, they had the, the big end Cody Rhodes won the title. Like he's kind of he's kind of fading away. Like he wanted to watch the main event matches. He wasn't super into the other matches. So are his friends like, into it? Yeah, like one or two, but I feel like he's he's at that age now where he's gonna back away from it for a few years and then Oh yeah. Maybe get because you're not super into it, right? Me? Yeah. I've never been into wrestling. That's, that feels like I was thinking oddly thinking that the other day. I was like, it's very weird that Justin's not a huge wrestling fan. I was into yeah. football. Does that, does that feel like a like a perfect marriage to you? Yes. It, it feels like it could, but yeah. I think you're kind of either like Star Wars or wrestling. You know I, I don't mean? know. Like, it feels like kind of the same world. I don't know. Justin? You said you liked football? I, I was a big, like, my dad didn't give a fuck about wrestling. You guys get Right. It. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Uh, what else? Was I like I liked the TV show Cops growing up. <laughs> You like the TV show Cops growing yeah. up. Yeah, even okay. though I, I used to have nightmares because I, I would watch it like young. Oh, no, my dad would put on America's Most Wanted when I was like, mm. real young. Mm. And it would be like, this man is roaming the streets, yeah. raping children. <laughs> yes. 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 I remember <laughs> thinking like, because I was, I'd be at my dad's like Friday nights and that's when that oh, was on. I was like, what? Why? Yeah. Very this strange. Seem like child's, Very strange. Child's yeah. programming. And I remember Mike's <laughs> weekends with his dad. <laughs> one time I was we were on like vacation in Vermont and he was watching it and he was. I thought he was in Vermont, the killer? No, but oh. my dad just looks at me and goes, these people are out there. They'll do anything to you. And I'm like, Jesus. oh my God. Like, yeah. he's, like, he's like, just remember there are good people and bad people. I wonder why you have anxiety. <laughs> this is a bad person. I really think if you see this man, I was like, if I see this man, I'm not calling any fucking phone number. I am getting the hell away from this guy. Also, like, would you be that confident that like, that's the guy. That's, I a, that's call a lot the of pressure. Yeah. It's like, well, that kind of looks like the drawing they have. It's a tremendous television. amount of pressure. Well. Uh, whatever. It's been a few weeks, so uh, we'll we'll try. We'll take a few. See if people are around the call tonight. Whoa. We'll try it. It's big. We'll try it. A Sunday night. I doubt it. The Sunday night calls usually stink. Yeah. But it's been a few weeks, so if the people want to talk to us, catch up. If they have any questions, I'm happy to try and answer them. Uh, we'll tweet the number, I guess. Oh, my trivia match is happening right now. I don't know if it's over or not. How's it going? I don't know. I don't want to give anything away. It's been a tough year, I'll say that. What else is going on at BlindMike.net, anything? Big oh, interview oh. today. Oh. It's, it's up now, folks, if you'd like to go over to the Blind Mike Project and watch it. Uh, legendary Tom Myers of Hever to Grace fame was on mm. the program. Why? Oh, he was on? Yeah. Was he really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see that. How was he? Uh, was he, he playful? Was, he was good. He was, yes, much more playful than I thought he would be. I couldn't. Nail him down on a few answers I wanted to get out of him, but yeah. he was fun. Well, that's good. That's uh, I, oh, I'll listen to him. Yeah. Okay. How long was that? Interview? Well, it was like a little over an hour. Oh, okay. You won't care about it, but okay. Well, if you know the name Tom Myers, then you you might care. There you go. All right. Okay. All right. Anything else of note from you, Justin? Last few weeks or no? I tried poker. Okay. Yeah, it was not good. I yeah, I've never, I've never, kicked. I've never been into it either. You starting a rival game against? Yeah, against Steve. Buddies? No, I tried it. Tried it at a casino. I was like, hey, let's 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 try. How much you lose? Six hundred dollars. What? Yeah. Hey, you, you've never played before? Yeah, I, thought, I figured go go big, go home. <laughs> Maximum buying was three hundred. I bought in twice. Nice. Really? Yeah, I got butt fucked. How did Anth do? Anth was not there. Oh damn it, Mark. Sorry. Uh, Mark was not there. Oh, okay. Who was there? Just your boy. All by yourself? You just went and played, oh yeah? I feel like, because you don't want to go, because what if like, I... I don't know if you had a buddy who plays it, you know, I don't know. Uh, a couple of my friends play it. I've never like, I've never understood poker. I mean, I understand the basics of it, but I just never, it's, I never the, the appeal of it to me is you not... You got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Yeah, I've never gotten how you're good or bad at it. Right, right but some people are great at it, I guess. Yeah. Like, like, but it's also like celebrities that get to the final four. Like, yeah. Didn't like, I don't know, like, uh, uh, wasn't Affleck in it? Didn't he make like two rounds one year or something? 
The oh, World Series of Poker or something? I don't really understand. That's how Robert Eiler made... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> lived after The Sopranos, basically, right? right? Somebody is it, is it Tobey Maguire? I think another guy who's super... I don't know. So you're not... You're not it's over, Justin? Not, not going to be a new addiction? Uh, maybe I'll try it with a less spot. Because I could have bought in for 60. How's the diet going, guys? Like, oh, not the diet, but the lifestyle change. The, Good. Um... Last time, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if you saw, I did a 13K last Friday. I saw, I saw some of it, yeah. It was pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. You walked a 13K, right? That's right, yeah. <laughs> You were impressed with yourself? Uh, very impressed. I did see the zit was back in the video. Oh, yeah, zit, oh, zits no. are back. Oof, he's back like, it's just like on the attack, too. College. Sorry about that. No. Is that all, is that a new thing? I don't remember us talking about this before. You've never, you don't remember talking about was, my zit? Is it in the show? No, 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 I remember. Before, the, recently or something. Recently, I agree. but I don't remember early on in his tenure. Him I don't either. Yeah, I guess they come and it comes and goes. What's the so what's going? What are you doing about it? I think no. I, mean, uh, I got a couple patches I put on it. Is it stress face. related or is it just? Uh, it might be stress related. Oh, Bubble was in the hospital. He, he's out today. Oh, that's Good what, shout what out happened. Bubba. Oh, uh, he went in on Friday. He uh -huh. was having some chest pain when he was breathing. Oh, that's not good. Uh, but it was just he was he he works out in the yard too much. I yeah. tell him, Bubba, Bubba, I I do this. You don't do this, and he goes, I like doing it. Uh, you know, it makes me feel good. <laughs> I, I talk to talk to Mammy when I'm doing it. Do you yeah. always talk to him like he doesn't quite know the language? Talk to that voice. <laughs> Your head's dancing I do. around. I too. do, not you. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Um, no so good. so he got that checked out. He has a little bit of pneumonia. No, oh, jeez, is but, he laying uh, low then, or is he? He was supposed to have. Yeah, my dad called me this morning. He's like he's having some surgery tonight, but now he's not. So we know he's home. But oh, he's just been hitting him up. I think we're 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 playing out the stretch with Bubba. Would you nah, say? Bubba's Bubba's. He's like Gene Hackman. He lives forever. I'll say the NBA playoffs will still be going on when Bubba <laughs> kicks <laughs> it. <laughs> Goes on forever, so you should be okay. Huh? Did you visit him in the hospital? I did not. You love this guy this much. You don't visit him in the hospital? It's your whole <laughs> life. Kidding. That's all you ever say. How right? long if he was dies, he in if this happens, he was in there for two days. But he's, I presume he was near you. Uh, you yeah. weren't doing anything. Uh, Why wouldn't you go see poker. him? I had to go see Bruce. What do you, yeah, but that's one day. You can go see. You, you you love Bubba. Your if he dies, your life will crack. You don't go visit him in the hospital. Uh, yeah, he he doesn't want me to come. He's I'm like I I, I called him a couple times. Imagine that conversation. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be okay though. Yeah, he's he's gonna be perfect. Is that your mom's dad? Nope, mom's dad is dead. Dead. Okay. Dad's Did you like dead. him or no? Oh uh, yeah, he was good. Good he guy. Good. Named Doug. Doug. I'm very similar to Doug. I have a lot of Doug traits in me. What do you mean? Uh, I have his eyesight. Oh, okay. I have his hair. Yeah. I have his build. Do you really mm -hmm. like kids? I have his depression. His depression, huh? Um, yeah, we're just, we're just, we, we're like very similar. Doug's true, okay. Similar, right. similar vibes. Right, there you go. Is there a grandparent you kind of take after? Oh, shut up. Just, <laughs> I'll take a few calls and get out of here. I'm worried about Tuesday. I wonder if Tuesday's going to be a dub with these two. Well, a mix nuts. Uh, you'll 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 rile them up in some form. Hmm. Well, there's so enough there's enough lifelong animosity there. That's true. That's true. Two hundred dollar thing was very weird. <laughs> <laughs> very, were you there for that micro? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That was very, was very interesting. Hello, Berkey. How are you, buddy? How's, How's it going? going? Hey, did you happen to catch Jeff Delo's uh, rap video from high school? <laughs> I did see that. Yeah. Around? Did you what see it? No. no what is this? It's so a rap video we do with like two other guys from high school. He tweeted it out. It's usually with Jeff. It's like it's a kind of like a I high production. Like Jeff's a, the perfect age for that. Like perfect. That's, that's a yeah. I, I, why I never thought of him <laughs> yeah. doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that, buddy? No, I, I thought he was from Connecticut, but he but he went to high school in Texas. Is that what it was? I think he yeah he moved from Connecticut to Texas. I think hmm. or the other way around, one way or another. I forget what it is. I think his mom lives in Texas now. Yeah, right. But I think he was there in high school or something. This yeah. is Cedar Park. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are these? It's a different name though. What's his name? Uh, of that? He's either Big Sex CP3 or here Rich yeah. F Flow. Rich, Rich, Rich Flow. Rich Flow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is it spelled L O W E? <laughs> it's F capital L O W E. Yeah. So Jeff Freelo is even better. <laughs> Yee. Yeah. This, this is, is Cedar hot. Park. This is Cedar Park. Oh. This is Cedar. This is Cedar. This is Cedar Park. What? This is Cedar Park. It doesn't this seem like he's Cedar particularly Park. trying. This is Cedar. This is Cedar. This is Cedar Park. Our parents call us in before it gets too dark. This is Cedar. This is Cedar. This is Cedar Park. This is Cedar. Are your girlfriend tweeting it out? This is Cedar Park. 
This is Cedar. This is Cedar. This is Cedar Park. This is Cedar Park. Fortune is my middle name. This feels like something Clemmer would post now. <laughs> That's true. My game. I work at Golf Smith. That paper, yeah, I stack it. But seven hours a day, I'm devoted to my brackets. <laughs> I'm it's on not bad. Sports report. All my close friends, they be hiking up my shorts. Rolling with my boys. Is it just Jeff we rapping or no? So far. We yeah. Tiger Martin getting us some icy points. Spent summer on my couch watching Olympics in Beijing. Oh my god, my boy, Usain is amazing. Let me hear that one again. What was that Usain Bolt rhyme? Let me hear that. We ain't smoking joints. We up at Tiger Martin getting us some icy points. Spent summer on my couch. Can you go back or not? Olympics in Beijing. Oh my okay, god, okay. my boy, you saying is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love like the references <laughs> we'll never get. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, like baby all of college them. references or whatever. Every single Friday, we're the real school in District 65. Hey, oh hell Cedar yeah! Park. This is Cedar 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 Park. What? This is Cedar Park. Yee. This is Cedar. This is Cedar. This is Cedar Park. Our parents call us in before it gets too dark. This is Cedar. This oh, this is, is not Jeff. I think like the other guys are thinking about it. Which one do you think this is, Jeff? If you had to guess. CP3? This is Cedar. Yeah. This is Cedar. I think so too. This is, yeah, this is not big sex. Oh. This is Cedar Park. Park. I go by him for CP3. Oh. You've probably seen me out on the hardwood Jayan 3s. Yep. Last name is Turner, but the H is silent. If you call me Turner, I don't want to spoil anything for the next live show. <laughs> Big night for CP3. Catch me up to the money. Even in my Lancer. Only song I cruise to was Elton's Tiny Dancer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yo, wow. Dude, do a nice little cutaway. Very natural uh, cut there. Get my feast. <laughs> <laughs> Never ending pancakes means my breakfast doesn't stop. This Mr. is C Oh Hanner damn it. Are my two favorite schools. What I just said was a lie. All their guys are tools. Why read other news when I've got the wolf pack? Call me OJ, cause I just killed the trash. Wow. See, there you oh, go, Mike. Mike, this Mike that's your point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Cedar. This is Cedar. This is Cedar Park. This is Closer Cedar Alert. Park. Big sex. This is Closer exact. Alert. This is Cedar. This, this is Cedar. Cedar. This, this is Cedar Park. Park. Our parents call us in before it gets too dark. This is Cedar. This is Cedar. This is Cedar Park. The misery of having three people, so you have to do three verses. This is twelve people. You know that. This is Cedar Park. My friends call me Big Sex. Six seven four five one one one. Send me a text. This is before Eric comes in. Love from several fine sharties. Posted in my real these. I'm referring to my glasses. If you're talking mess, we'll be kicking your butt. If Jeff Mash were with, with uh, uh, niche category back then, I would have been you stunned. You can always find <laughs> a gang bucket, all the rays. Hunger pains attacking. Don't try to fight them. Go to Randall's for some fresh food items. Yeah. Worth them thinking fast food. Wada is the place to go. This guy works here, and he is my bro. <laughs> Should this replace the uh, the outro park? song? <laughs> I, think, I, think we have a, I think our guy might be in trouble. I like the third guy best. Oh, oh yeah. with lightsabers? This is sick. Oh, we're doing a sponge SpongeBob, the SpongeBob dance. Forgot about that. That's a pretty fat rhyme, no? It's not bad. Hella. Yeah. Hell yeah. Not mid, it's I'll not, say that. Well, oh. Where Jeff was smart is uh, he was clearly trying, but not so much that we right. could really make fun of his... Right, it's a little self-depth right. You're yeah, smart. Yeah, yeah. That is a definite Jeff D. Lowe in high school project right there, yeah. if there ever was one. Like you said, perfect time in history. Yeah. Perfect marriage. Yeah. It's just them dancing. This is just filler now. <laughs> Lightsaber battle. It's the kind of chance for everyone to kind of chill after the song, you know? Get your drink. Yeah, it's a very long... Towel down. <laughs> Drive 50 miles. Transformers playing in the back. How much longer is this video? We're going all the way. Uh, 26 seconds. Jesus. There's another 26 seconds. That's pretty dope. There's you know, the fucking as a. Oh, they no swearing though. This is a school project, you think? Probably. A lot different than my high school projects. I have a couple old. Yeah. What class would this be? <laughs> it smells like a. Well, he said he spent the summer watching Beijing. So I would assume 2009. No, no, no. What, what class? What? Like what? What? Oh, what? Uh, video editing, maybe. Yeah, probably so. Yeah. 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 Hmm. All right, we'll take another, another couple of calls. That is Cedar Park. Cedar Park. Cedar Park. That's what now the only way I'll think about Cedar Park. Yeah. Oh no question. Might be enough time on there for a fourth verse. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> 
Say the three numbers. Hello. Oh, wow. My name is Mutt. I'm feeling pretty fine. Even though last night I blew a 2.9. Oh. This is Cedar Park. What? This is Cedar Park. I drive all the way up for the path of totality. This is Cedar Park. Yeah, he can do that. He can do that. We don't want that. Ryan Minahan approved, do you think? <sighs> Maybe. Although, I remember Ryan Minahan, his rap he did with his buddy Gooch. Oh. Uh, his buddy, he and buddy Gooch were a rap duo. Oh. And how long ago it was. His buddy Gooch said, fuck the millennium. This is the gooch millennium. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> Which I thought was, was, it was on at that point. <laughs> he's taking on, he's getting jiggy with it. Yeah. His friend Gooch is almost like Stephen Gloucester. He had a, he was, he had a lisp. He was, a, he was like a nice guy, but a very dumb guy who would talk like this all the time. Oh, that's fun. He was like, yeah, my, my dad got multiple sclerosis. It's the worst kind of name for somebody like me for him to have. Like some... <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is the theater park. Yeah, the Gooch. Fuck the millennium. This is the Gooch millennium. Surprising <laughs> oh, yeah. for a guy with that hindrance to have that kind of confidence to declare it the Gooch millennium. <laughs> I mean, he was like, you got to throw it out there. Yeah. It turned out not to be the Gooch millennium, I don't oh, think. Oh, no. Damn. Not yet, but we're early, in the, we're really early in the, if you think about it, the, the century. Month, the we're, only 24, we're a quarter yeah. of the century in. Really? Yeah. Um, but yeah, they both had like huge jackets on. I remember going down the basement one time and they were filming something. They had the boom box and they were both like, had their jackets, like they were like, had their arms crossed and like, and they'd be like, yo man, can you, 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 can you just go back? I was like, we're trying to, we're trying to do this, right? You guys Italian, huh? And I was like, all right. I was like, I thought you wanted Papa Gino. So I go, like, oh, yeah, they great. They'd like run upstairs and like, <laughs> like magically become like who they were again. <laughs> Eat Papa Gino's and be like, yeah, this is, thanks a lot. Like, hey dad, you then be like, ah, oh, yeah, we're going back downstairs now. We're chill later. I got peace out. Take your motherfucker. Bye. <laughs> when when I was in high school, kids started rapping, like, like making songs and like putting them on YouTube or whatever. Yeah. And then they would kind of like step on each other's toes a little bit, so Ooh, they would get the rap. There would be diss tracks. Any shootings or no? <laughs> no, no, unfortunately, no. it's not Cedar Park. <laughs> I had a couple friends who uh, Dirty Mike and the boys never got involved in that. No, they? no, we were neutral. Colors. That's probably a good yeah. idea. Yeah. I had a couple friends who got into the rap game in high school. And uh, they, they did some like show somewhere, and they were just from Norton. These white kids from Norton. Right. And one of the one of their lyrics was like, "I'll catch a bullet between my teeth." <laughs> and this uh, Latina woman stopped the show, said, "These fucking white boys can't be talking about catching <laughs> bullets between their teeth. These fucking suburban middle." And, and why is that? Like, why are white people allowed to get shot between the teeth? I don't know because this is this was her doing this. I think it happened in Cedar Park or no? I don't know, but I think I was on one of the albums on a skit. Really? Yeah, I, I played the doctor. I believe I like I diagnosed my friend with like total loser syndrome. I'll try to find it. Ooh, TLS. I, I was probably was that. I was probably one dust up away among my group of friends from getting on a verse and rapping. Ooh, wow. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, this was not going on in my in my years. No, 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 not like anybody. No, it was more the fat boys era. I remember. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, the ghetto boys. <laughs> Go ahead. Going in. Does he have any allergies? No. Any complaints of aches or pains? Nope. Well, what is this? Has he done any this is smoking? This skit I was on. Well, you found it awfully fast, Justin. Yeah, I'm just going to say, I think you it's had also, that. I, yeah, I think regard. you had that in the holster. Yeah. What's that, no. Mike? It, it, just interesting the, what I'm hearing. <laughs> is that you as the boy, Justin? <laughs> no, it's... Oh, that was, it's, it's your voicemail voice. What is going on here? I think, I think, I think he, he's currently... Who's he? My friend. Okay. Uh, d uh, He's currently at the doctor's office, okay. and I believe... The, the woman's a doctor. No, the, she's the nurse. Oh, okay, gotcha. This feels like it's going to be something else completely. I've yeah. seen these scenes before. Yeah. Definitely not. Okay. The doctor will be right in. Boy, really a lot of dead air. Yeah. Great call, Justin. This is fascinating. So all of last week's tests came back negative. Except That's me. Wow. What does he have? What's wrong with him? It seems he has chronic bad luck disorder. What? Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Just now, delivered that line like, like you serious. guys are about to lose your shit. Punished <laughs> much more than is reasonable. Being pissed off at life 80% of the time and having girls get allergic reactions from interacting with them. Recent studies have proven that CBLD leads to like Hank Lockwood loser here. syndrome. <laughs> but don't worry. It is you. I look like Hank Lockwood? Sound like him here. Oh, he's mine. He, his lines are being delivered like, guys... I I don't know if I'm going to be able to contain my laughter. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 well, let's take one or two more calls. Hello. It's absolutely awful, Justin. Hello. This is Cedar Park. This is Cedar Park. Episode title. 
Yep. By the way, I like that you said one or two more. We haven't taken one yet. <laughs> <laughs> the guy I mentioned Jeff Dillow. Yeah. What's, what's his name? That was uh. But the, we oh, did Cedar one? Park based on a call. Oh wow! Right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Hello. Jeez. I believe that was. Jeff Hi there. I'm, I'm calling from the office of the chief medical examiner, looking for Justin Trudell. That's here. That's me. Justin, um, sorry to inform you, but your grandfather's passed away. Oh, no. Oh, God. That's too bad. Next of kin. Would you be next or no? Would be your, your, That'd probably be my father. Your my father? Mom. Oh, you're on, you're, you're, you're his daughter as well. Yeah, but his other son's dead. Did he have any last words? Oh, you have an uncle who died? I do. Uncle Bob? No, Uncle Ed. He was a very, very sickly man. Very did you know him or no? I did, yeah. He died when I was a Uncle Uncle dead? School. Uncle Ed. Uncle Ed. Oh, I'm yes. sorry. That'd yes. be now he's dead. Ed is dead. Yeah. That'd be a weird dude. He had mitochondrial like disease. He was like he was like Holocaust skinny. Uh, oh, how old was he? That's a shame. Nice he, guy. Uh, yeah, he was he was a good guy. Was um, he in the area or no? Yeah, he, he lived where I currently live. He lived with his parents. Oh, how old was he? That uh, late 30s. Hmm. Do you think it's oh, like geez. they've fattened you up so you wouldn't be like because you live with them like you would be like Uncle Ed? Do you think they're worried about you? They made you like extra fat. Uh no. Psychologically? What the fuck kind of question? <laughs> you think when Justin's dad sees him only eating a three thousand pasta yeah. three thousand calorie pasta meal, he's well, like, maybe, no, because they saw Uncle Ed get so skinny. <laughs> Just, they don't yeah, they don't want him be to be skin and bones. Yeah, they don't want him to be like that. They won't see it again. Yeah. So like have twenty breadsticks. Have yeah. the ice cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe psychologically. Hey. I don't know. Who maybe. knows? I, I, Hello. I just think it's because uh, food is food is good to me. This is Cedar Park. Just choose the one on top. All right, all right. I've been waiting the longest. Yeah, but doesn't mean they'll be good. It's true. How are you picking them? I go by <laughs> <laughs> how many times they call in. Okay. Ah. You, the more they call in, the more you're, you're likely to pick it up. Yes. Not sure that's a great instinct, but okay. <laughs> well, Obviously. it's the amount of time that they've got actually got on. Gotcha. Hello. Because so. we have such a screening process. Yeah, really. <laughs> Hello. Kirk, we got to go back and we can't let Mick off the hook here. I mean, I listened to some of the old episodes. Al is the only reason he got on the show. He like called oh, yeah? a million times for his brother. It's insane what Al has done. He like booed you when really his brother is. got kicked off. Everything I've heard about Al, he sounds like a lovely guy, and Mick is just fucking insane. Well, I've, I have a feeling. I have a feeling so, it's not going to take long to dig those, get those scabs ripped off on Tuesday. Yeah, it, to be fair to Mick, we don't know anything about Al. We're looking at it well, as a, no, as that's a not nice true. We guy. know what Al is. He left him two hundred dollars. We know that. <laughs> All right. And we know Nick, some details. And Nick had a classic revenge move. <laughs> took a hundred of it. So we do know that at least. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, we, he he call, no, but he no, but he called the show a million times to get his brother. I see. I don't. Rem- I'm sure you're right. I, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't remember that. Do you remember that, Justin? Or no? I, I, it, like it sounds familiar, but I. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Call. I, I have no like doubt object- that you're right. Yeah. Objectively, he's done some. Super nice things for his brother. And now like, it starts to feel like you, you may know this guy. Is this Al? Are you an Al? Are you an Al? Are you friends with Al? This is uh, beyond average Christian. Oh, it is? Uh, no, it's not. Is it? It doesn't sound like it. No, no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just fucking with you. One of my no, favorite jokes. You son of a gun. <laughs> One of my favorite bits. <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. It, we'll, uh, Tuesday morning, 930. Uh, I'll know when I walk in. I can sense tension. Mm. You know, I gonna, think. Good. No, yeah, no, nothing they, before the show. No, they'll probably tr- don't you think they'll travel together? I prefer they don't. No, I bet you they don't. I bet you they don't because I imagine Al probably has to do something, work, contribute to society. Yeah, they don't like live together, so I imagine. Maybe Mick's got a hot date after a lunch date. That's also possible. Mm. Hello. I gotta make pulled pork for Mick. Shut Why? up, Justin. I don't need your bits either. <laughs> I don't, I don't get the reference. <laughs> Cedar Park, Cedar Park. Let me see. Let me take a look at Cedar Park. Hello. Hey, Mike, it's your principal, Richard Pichero. <laughs> Is that his name? Hey, Mr. Pichero. Yeah, great guy. <laughs> Mr. what? Mr. Pichero. I'm at, I'm at the pizza shop. I'm calling about <laughs> Dirty Mike and the East Long Ghetto Pizza Boy. Uh-oh. You didn't really know. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, the rap career. Yes, Wait course. a minute. What's his name, Mike? I'm going to look this guy up. How do you spell it? Don't you Richard, argue with me. Richard, one second. Fr- Mr. I believe it was spelled Frachero. F-R-E-C-E-R-R-O, I think. And double C's, Mike. Don't double forget. C's. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Richard. <Richie. laughs> F. How do you spell Mr. Fichero? You got a Saturday detention. How do you spell Mr. Fichero? It's E C C E R R O. Mr. Fichero. It's just one R. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't know that. Why, why would he know that? Good, sir. Yeah. Do we lose him, Mike? No. Yes, sir. Spit some rap lyrics for us, or you got a Saturday detention. 
Oh, come on, pal. Yeah, actually, <laughs> Mr. Vichero, the one... I 43, was set- he retired in 2020. Thank you, uh, Principal yeah. Vichero. Retired in 2020, Mike. I thought actually earlier than that, but... Uh, um, maybe the story's wrong. Go ahead. He, uh, I was sent to the office once in my mm-hmm. entire high school tenure, and he walks in. He had a kid in my grade, so like we were like we he was like friendly with a lot of us. Yeah. But he storms in the office, and he goes, Gary, you down here again? <laughs> and I go, I've never been here in my entire life, sir. And he goes, ah, and he storms off. <laughs> There he is. He was the Grand Marshal Parade in 2023 at the East Long Meadow. Uh, he was the man. He's known as Rich there. Saying, Richie Fichero, yeah. yeah. <laughs> His wife, Judy, uh, as well. Yeah. She oh, he him. must be remembered. She did? Yeah. Oh, he still got it. Yeah, good for him. He's five high school. He seems like a nice guy, Mike, yeah. Very nice guy. One of the greats. All right, if there's any good, we'll wrap it up here. Come on, let's see. Hello. 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 Hey, it's Manners. Hey, Manners, what's up? Uh, just a couple of things. I was wondering if um, <laughs> maybe in hindsight you um, lashed out at me over the network recently. You should have been going at a tough spot. Do you think maybe you, you took it out on your, your little mate from down under? I have not thought about the network, uh, you leaving the network at all in the last couple of weeks, if I'm being totally honest. Well, I'm just saying in the lead up to that. Uh, no, maybe, I, no, I, no, I don't. Know, I do I, not. I do not. I haven't taken anything out on you. Like I said, and, and I, 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 like I said, hold on. You asked, you asked the question. Um, you know, it seems like everybody's having a good time in the network. There's no anger. Nobody's getting, nobody's, nobody's getting, you know, nobody hates the guy running. Like a bunch of people hated you. And now, as I've always said, you're welcome to, to join the network. It, it, it be, be a contributor if you'd like, but if you don't want to, that's okay too. All right. Well, I, I just don't think that's true. I, I mean, I, I think you, you, I triggered you with a joke, which is very unlike you, and you lashed out. Matters, it's over. Like this, this, this is like three weeks old. Like nobody cares anymore. Like, it's over. Okay, okay. It, can we look at a merger? Can we look at a merger? So that think it's really matters. Worth. No one cares about this oh, but you. Man. No, but matters. This is this is honestly. I hate to say this. Beneath, what'd you say? You turned him down. Oh, matters. Oh, guy, matters. Were you? Did I see you tweet? All kidding aside, was somebody you know? Were they at this like stabbing or whatever the other day in in the at that mall? Yeah, absolutely. It's right near where I live. My son was right outside. Where Jesus Christ. Aye, aye, aye. Aye. Jesus. But every, he's okay? Everyone's all right? Yeah. Everyone's okay. Good. Unfortunately. Unfortunately? unfortunately. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> Were you part of this? Unfortunately? <laughs> a lot of innocent people are dead. That, I would say that's unfortunate. Yes, it's <laughs> fortunate that, you're, that your family's uh, you okay. You didn't finish yeah. the job. Jesus. Yeah, go ahead. What were you going to say? Um... So yes, would you look at a merger of the two networks now that it's clear? Yes, if you want, if you the only person left there wants John, to come over, John, uh, nobody cares. You the John only person. Wants, shut up. You're John the, wants me to be CEO. John wants okay. me to be CEO. He doesn't. And if he does, whatever. Like you guys, you know, I will whatever. Talk about it, and then you can come back to me. All right. Goodbye. Jesus Christ. Doesn't really matter. That doesn't seem like him. No, uh, he's that was him. He's lost it. That doesn't seem it. like his. You know. Keeps a cool hand. I think he needs better help. Betterhelp.com slash Kirk10. 10% off your first month right now. K-I-R-K. See, we're having some, some laughs with those calls. And then these network guys. Are you getting a sense that the network people seem happy, Justin, or no? Just, fuck, just this network is fucking a lot. Our network? Well, it's just like, no, just the- They the, all seem fine. The no, ones just are, the fighting of like, oh, whose show is this? And no, how many- I, I don't even think that's going on in our network, though. Do you? No, yeah. it's 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 it's, it's like, happy. and then he's making up. I saw like Manners was like, "Oh, John messaged me about how he wants me to be my CEO. He wants <laughs> me to be the CEO." And it's like <laughs> three hundred people care about this. Yes, that's exactly right. Uh, all right, uh, BetterHelp.com slash Kirk ten, uh, Kirk one zero. Go get some. Go get some help if you need. I think Manners does. Uh, uh, again, it's online therapy. Uh, a little different than traditional, but really it's core of the same, figuring out what's going on with you, what's going on with people in your life, how to make things better, how to feel better, how to uh, handle things better. Like I could have handled things better last week at the mini golf or that hole I put in the wall. It's a progress. It's, it's all progress, Mike. You're doing the best you can. dot com slash Kirk10. Betterhelp.com slash Kirk10 today. You get 10% off your first month. Go right now. We thank them. We thank Milton's all other great sponsors as well. Uh, Blymike.net and... Uh, 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 the Blind Mike Project on YouTube, correct? Yes. Thank Go you. subscribe. Please subscribe to both. Uh, that's on Patreon, of course, BlindMike.net. Anything else from you guys? Nope. No, not really. Nope. Fireworks on Tuesday, Mike, I think. I th- I shouldn't say that. I don't want to fake promote anything. Yeah. 
We shall see. I hope so. Now, reach out to Casey Smith to call in. She actually didn't respond to me tonight. Maybe she'll want to call in as well this week and uh, battle things out. She I'd should love... drive in. She should drive in? Show dedication. Show loyalty. Sure, if she wants. She's always welcome it's here. true. She's always welcome here. All right. Uh, we will talk to you Tuesday with, with Mick and uh, Beyond Average Al, right? Not Christian. Al, right? Yes. The, he's got beef with Al. Christian's his buddy. All right. We'll talk to you then. Goodbye.